Uh, I wanted my grandkids to call me G Daddy, but that didn't go over too well. <laughs> G Daddy, I got you. <laughs> it's like, okay, granddaddy. Damn, you're a grandfather. That's right. You've been you've been in the game longer than I've been on the planet Earth. Wow. When were you born? 1975. Oh, okay. Nah, nah. I bought my first house in 80, 84, 85, somewhere around <laughs> right there. Crazy. Is it to live in or invest? Uh, my, my first few houses were investment property. Mm -hmm. yeah. What city are you in? Where are you at, by the way? There? I'm in Lake Wiley. This will be the last webinar I do from this house. We sold our house, and we're moving next week. You're gone. I hear some water in the background. Is that a river or something? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I can... <clears throat> Can you see the lake? Oh, sweet. That's nice, man. There's my workshop. I built that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. My own self, right? My own self. Right? <laughs> my own self. There's my neighbor's house, and I got a fire pit down here. You're too much, man. I just don't have the pool. <laughs> it's a bunch of work, brother. I know, right? Bunch of work. Hey, Roundup, come on in. Greetings, come on in. We got Larry Goins here, the man himself. Our mentors. What's I, up? Too. I feel like I'm dreaming. I mean, this is like I'm unbelievable. Get to hang out with you. I've been waiting. <laughs> well, Larry's gonna do an interlude real quickly with his guitar to make sure everybody's awake. Oh so, man, I, I yeah. If, if I had uh, if I hadn't already packed them up. I, uh, yeah, but I don't have them unpacked. I already actually took them to the office. I play guitar during the day while I'm on the phone. I love Larry. You there, brother? Yeah, man. Can you hear me? Yeah, you were saying something about your guitar. Yeah, yeah. I already, I already boxed or packaged them up and took them to the office. Uh, I have them in the office now, but I play guitar during the day while I'm on the phone. I've got a guitar stand that holds it up about waist high, and I'll be on the phone talking to people. I got this really killer headset from Jabra. It's like 500 <clears throat> bucks, but man, it is worth it. It's uh, I could be playing the guitar, and they can't hear a thing. All they hear is my voice. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Santana, I saw Santana. He had one of those carts. He just walks up to it. And you just yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yep. Round up. Come on in. Uh, we've got 50 people on here. Thank you so much for showing up for your boy. You know I'm not going to waste your time. One of my mentors awesome. actually here is just uh, – I, I can't believe I get to hang out with guys like this, talk to him on the phone, deal with, the, deal with his team. <laughs> it's truly a dream. I've been studying Barry going since 2007, so now I get to introduce him to you. I'm like a conduit, Round Up. I'm introducing you to the people that have affected my life in the most – constructive way and uh, i am chris haskins i will be your co-pilot for tonight my mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship in doing that we have introduced tonight larry goins what up homie what's happening how you doing man i'm i'm thankful it's 100 degrees up here but i'm still blessed and we're gonna keep on moving it's 100 degrees man it's like 80 here but i had to sit outside this is my last webinar from this location right here. Wow. I'm on the water. I just sold my house. Uh huh. I mean, you know it's the seller's market, right? So <laughs> you've heard, right? <laughs> You're crazy. So I, I just that. sold my house and we're moving next week. And, you know, check this out. And I know we got to get out of business, but, you know, I, uh, I've been looking for land about 50 acres to build on. Mm -hmm. And I can't find any land, but we got a little small house. I mean, small, about the size of this deck, right up in uh, the mountains. So we're going to move up there until we find some land and build. Gotcha. So, um, gotcha. yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what I've been. But, you know, the cool thing is, man, and looking for land, I know how to buy real estate. So I sent out mailers to everybody who own more than 50 acres, mm -hmm. actually more than, more than 30 acres. And I just I just got under contract 40 acres of land. 
for four hundred thousand dollars, and I already got a buyer at six eighty and hadn't even closed on it yet. Is that killer or what? Wow. Good yeah. Lord there. I'm like, man, that's good. that's gonna help me pay for my land. <laughs> Larry, the numbers you talk, they're almost unbelievable. Larry, I remember listening to you years ago, doubt. I used to doubt what you used to say. What is it that makes you different from most uh, real estate, not only gurus, but just investors? Well, I think, uh, man, I don't even have a college degree. I'm a high school graduate. I had B's and C's and D's in school. Mm -hmm. And I was on what I used to call the work release program where <laughs> you get out at noon to go to a job. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but I've always been a hard worker. Um, uh, you know, I've always been a hard worker, you know, didn't expect anybody to give me anything. And I've been kind of the entrepreneur since I was a kid. You know, mm -hmm. I used to sell stuff at flea markets. I used to do all kinds. I used to clean cars, you know, recondition cars. And then I started painting cars and stuff like that. And I've always done little odds and ends here and there just to work for myself. And, uh, you know, I think the thing that makes me different than other people out there is, you know, I mean, yeah, listen, we're, we've got, I've got a model I'm going to share with people tonight called mm -hmm. filthy riches, how to make more money on a rundown $5,000 house. Nobody else wants than most people make on a hundred thousand dollar house. It's the way most people that I know got their very first deal because everybody's trying to wholesale or do this or that. You know, and it's yeah. tough. It's not easy. But this filthy riches model, it, it it's a killer model. And I don't even do these webinars much anymore. But you reached out to me and asked me if I would do it. I'm like, man, for you, yeah, sure, I'll do it. I, I appreciate you inviting me. But um, you know, I mean, yeah, and we're gonna have some continuing education later if somebody wants to take advantage of that. But if not, it's no big deal either way. Right? I just want to get. I just want to. I just want to share some information because. What thrills me is hearing people, I got my first deal. I got my first deal. I put money in the pocket. I've had That's people good. come up to me when I was traveling and speaking and teaching a lot all over the country, even around the world, come up and hug me. I'm like, whoa, hey, <laughs> you know, you know, but I mean, tears in their eyes because they did their first deal. You know, they paid off their house. They paid off their parents' house. They put their kids through college or whatever. And it just, it's really an awesome, awesome feeling. If you're in my office, you would see I've got all four walls of our big, call it the bullpen, um, <clears throat> of our big office lined with eight by 10 pictures of testimonials of students all up and down the wall from the floor to the ceiling all the way around, four, four walls. Sweet. Sweet. And it's just it's cool when people come in there like, wow, look at this. This person here made $88,000 on their first deal. This person made $25,000. This person here quit their job. You know, it's really, it's really, really cool. I got to tell you, Larry, you, you are the reason that I understood systems. I will never forget. I used to take, I never forget listening to you. I do. I used to take calls to my cell phone, right? And I remember you said, uh -huh. I used to take exactly. calls to my cell phone. I would get nothing done. I would get nothing done. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? After listening to you, I'm like, I'm done. No more calls from sellers to my cell phone after the day. Right. I'm so done. There you go. There you go. That's it, man. Thank That's you, it. brother. Thank <laughs> you. All right. So Larry, system master, you got systems and all this stuff. Guys, he's got so much information. Listen, members are going to get the questions answered first. I have to allow members to get the questions ans answered first because you sacrifice a few dollars to support my channel. Uh, if you would like to become a member, there's a join button below. It does not work on stinking Mac cell phones. You can't join on the cell phone out on the iPhone. You have to do it on the on a on a computer. Um, but we'll get to members first. If you would like to support the channel and become a, become a member, it's just going to cost you nothing but a large Starbucks coffee a month to help me keep bringing guests on like Larry. Larry Goins been in the game since the 1980s, and you're going to drop some wisdom on us tonight, and then we're going to get to Q and A. Is that okay, Larry? Yeah, man, I'd love to. I love the q and A. I actually call it Stump Larry. Stump Larry? What does that mean? That means ask me a question I can't answer. I dare oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, you good. I see your face right in the middle there, the blue screen. We got you. All right, good, good, good. So we ready to roll, huh? Yep, let's do it. Awesome, awesome. 
All right, guys, uh, this right here, what I'm about to share with you, uh, it's the perfect work from home virtual business. Not only that, but it allows you to create your own economy, especially in today's market. Now, I have, I'm just, I'm just warning you up front, I have 239 slides to share with you guys, okay? And, and we were talking, Chris and I were talking about this earlier. I'm like, man, I, I don't want to keep them on too long, but I got a lot of stuff I want to share and I want them to get it, right? I mean, I could gloss over this and tell you about, you know, all the stuff that I do, but what I do don't really matter. What I want to do is help you become successful, okay? So if you'll hang in there with me, I promise you, I'm going to share with you some things that you never even knew existed. I don't care if you've been investing 50 years, right? I've been doing this 35 years, okay? So first of all, why would you want to listen to me, okay? Just real quick, it's not the biography channel, but I've been a real estate broker since 1984. I've been a GC since 1985. I used to sell stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, been in the mortgage business since 96. We actually were a mortgage broker, but now we're a mortgage lender. We only lend our money. We don't broker other people's money or anything like that. We only lend our own money, and we do that in the Carolinas. And I was the president of Metro Line Aria, the largest uh, real estate investors association in the Charlotte market in 2003 and 2004. And not so long ago, I bought that group and, and along with Candace, my integrator, and we run that together. This is my library, okay? You see, I'm from South Carolina. There's a, there's only one R in library, right? So, so <clears throat> this is my library right here. I, I got to tell you, guys, you name a seminar, you name a speaker, you name a course, chances are I have it, okay? I don't care who it is, chances are I have it. All right, one thing I don't have, <clears throat> is a degree. I've never been to college, right? Uh, but I do have a South Carolina PhD. That's a public high school diploma, okay? That's where that other R in library goes, is on my diploma, right? I don't have one of those. But <clears throat> I am a firm believer in education. And just before, <clears throat> just before we got on this webinar here today, I was watching a YouTube video in there on the big screen TV you know, of some closers over the phone, closing deals over the phone, because I'm always learning stuff. And I do this every day myself. And I still invest about twenty-eight dollars to $32,000 a year on my own education. I bought and sold my first house in 1986. I've literally bought and sold close to a thousand properties in the last 35 years, right? I've done residential, commercial, multifamily, triple net lease, mobile home parks, land development, subdivisions, uh, hard money lending. These are some properties I've owned, invested in over the years. Um, I've done wholesaling, retailing, lease options, short sales, sub two, rentals, seller financing. Uh, these are two of our main companies here, Investors Rehab, Neighborhood Housing. Uh, we do wholesaling, lease options, seller finance, discounted notes, and we do it in multiple states. Um, my first book, Getting Started in Real Estate Day Training, it's available wherever books are sold. Michael Gerber. I know you've heard of him, right, Chris? Michael Gerber, the author of the E Myth, uh, wrote this. He wrote this in the forward of this book. He said, "It's this kind of genius." We can really just stop there, right? It's this kind of genius <laughs> that entrepreneurs such as Larry Goins, Ray Kroc, Michael Dell, Bill Gates, and so many others create for the rest of us. I thought that was wow. pretty cool. Love me in with those guys. And this is uh, this is another book I wrote. I've, I've written some other books, but these are the two probably main books that I've written right here. Uh, what I like to do in my spare time, I'm like you, man. I love music. This is me backstage with Lita Ford and with Gene Simmons doing some rehearsing. Uh, we played at the uh, MGM Grand in Las Vegas a few years ago. It was really cool. So I had a good time. I love doing that. <laughs> love music. I love rock and roll. So we, we actually now have students in all these different countries, U.S., Canada, Australia, New Zealand, all these down to Denmark. And uh, in the last 91 days alone, I've heard from 26 students who collectively made $956,000 in profits. Guys, that's just the ones I've heard from, right? So what I'm about to share with you is one of the quickest ways I've seen investors make money or grow their business. It's going to also show you how to increase and maybe double your current existing real estate business if you're already in the business itself, okay? So what if I could share a system 
buying houses in a hidden market nobody else wants, making more money than most fix and flip investors. Would you like to hear more? Let's hear you. Yeah. What about what if it was a proven system you could do it anywhere in the US from the comfort of your own home with none of your own cash, credit, or experience? And I'll even provide you with the money to do it. And the best part, what if you could learn it all for free, right? So what is filthy riches? Filthy riches, it's a proven system for buying and selling cheap houses anywhere in the US at deep discounts with none of your own cash, credit, or risk. And then now write this down, guys. I want you to get ready to take a lot of notes, okay? We're going to take some Q&A after, okay? So write down your questions as well. <clears throat> take a lot of notes, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you can sell the property for three to six times what you paid for it. Write that down. Three to six times what you paid for it with seller financing and a reasonable down payment, all with no buyer's list, right? Then if you need cash, guys, then we're going to sell the note for immediate cash or collect the monthly payments for the next 10 to 25 years, okay? It's one of the simplest, safest, easiest ways I've seen to put 16, 8 to 28 grand in your pocket in the next 30 days period. It is the perfect work at home opportunity. It allows you to create your own economy no matter what's going on in the country and around the world. And I think I need to say this, okay? We've just spent the last, what is it, year, year and a half going through this whole COVID stuff, right? I got to tell you, I had two sellers that I could not get in their property because of COVID. Everything else was business as usual. We didn't miss a beat. We wow. did not miss a beat, Chris. I got to tell you, man, we had two sellers and it wasn't even the seller. It was the tenants, okay, that the tenants didn't want to let us in the house, okay? So we postponed that for a few months until they would let us in the house, right? Mm -hmm. But outside of that, it was business as usual. We didn't miss a beat, all right? Wow. So secret to why this works so well. Remember, guys, I said, write this down. You want to sell the property at three to six times what you paid for it. For example, you can't sell a $100,000 house for three hundred dollars to six hundred dollars even with seller financing, but you can easily sell a five to ten thousand dollar house for thirty to forty thousand with seller financing and write this down too guys payments less than rent okay hmm. you can also sell a twenty to thirty thousand dollar house for sixty to ninety thousand with seller financing and payments less than rent okay you need a couple of things to get you get yourself started you need a phone one of these right and you need an internet connection that's about hmm. it you can easily do this anywhere because most of your deals come from the internet. I don't even buy much in my own market, okay? I'm in the Charlotte MSA. I go out two, three, four, five, six counties out, okay? I'm not buying right in my local area. Now, let me give you an example. Chris, am I going too fast? I know I got so many slides I want to get through and get to the, you know, make sure yeah, I get rolling. so much content for everybody. Am I going yeah, too fast? That. No, you're good, man. Keep rolling, y'all. Make sure y'all give him a thumbs up, too. Larry's grinding over there. He's getting ready to move out of his house. All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I get fired up about this because, man, I'll see the potential, okay? Hey, by the way, Chris, I can only see my screen. I can only see the PowerPoint. I can't see me. I can't see you. I can't see any comments. Do Can they give comments? Can they chat? Yep. Chat you up? I see the chat's on fire. Yep, got 100 people here. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, cool. So let me know about some feedback because I can't see it, okay? That keeps me fired up. Oh, yeah, you're good, right. man. Chat's so, on fire. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so here's an example, okay, guys? And I just want you to know I'm using $5,000 as an example. It's only an example. I've done this with houses as cheap as $1,500. And, yes, you can buy a $1,500 house in today's market, okay? I got two deals going right now. One I'm paying two thousand for, and one I'm paying five thousand for. Two of my deals that I got about forty deals in the pipeline, and most all of them are five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, right? So anyway, so here's a quick example: five thousand dollar purchase price. Now look at this. Now this this is a deal here I got from the bank. Look what the bank netted on this: twelve dollars and ten cent. What does that tell you? On bank-owned properties, it's not about them making money on a property. It's about them getting it, getting it off the books, right? Yeah. So we're going to sell this five thousand dollars house for thirty grand. We're going to get a couple thousand dollars down. Which, by the way, 
in today's market, if I sell a house for 30 grand, I'm getting about 10 grand down, okay? Mm -hmm. But I want to be conservative in my numbers with you, okay? So 30,000, we're going to get two down. $28,000 is the balance we're going to finance. We're going to do it for 10 years, 9% interest. The payment that they are going to make to me, I bought the house for five. I sold it for 30. I got two down. They're going to pay me three fifty four sixty nine dollars a month, right? Mm -hmm. The total payments over those 10 years is $42,563.06, right? So let's run the math. Total payback, $42,563. Minus the five grand when I bought it, thirty-seven five sixty-three plus the two thousand dollars that I got down when I sold it to my buyer. That's a net profit of thirty-nine thousand five hundred sixty-three dollars and six cents. Now, guys, I'm leaving closing cost out of it. Closing cost is negligible in these, you know, in these uh, examples in the overall scheme of things. But I just wanted to acknowledge: yes, I'm leaving closing cost out just to keep it simple. Okay. So what do you think my return is on this? Look at this. That's a 141% return the first year. Think about it. I'm getting $354 a month. That's $4,200 a year, right? So I, I, I pay, paid five. I got two down. I have three in the house. I'm getting more than $3,000 back the first year. That's okay. 140 Let me tell you something. You give a CPA or a mortgage broker, these numbers, they'll give you the exact same answer, right? Yeah, I mean, I ask them. They'll give you the exact same answer. The math don't lie. So this is 100% cash flow, no management, no vacancies, no repairs, no taxes, no insurance, and no mortgage. See, I'm not renting this property out. I'm selling this property to my buyer, right? The best part is no tenants. You know what? Look at this. You want to see some before and afters? Yeah. Pay close attention to these pictures. Here's your before. Here's your after. You see any difference? The second best part is no rehab. I don't touch these properties, right? Now, I know some people, you got to have some cash to get started, right? So we're going to talk about selling the note, but I want you to remember your goal is to keep the note, all right? Your goal is to keep the note. All right. So what kind of yields can you sell this note for? Remember, I sold it at 9% interest rate. If I sold this $28,000 note at a discount, it's called a discounted note, right? Google it. You'll learn a lot about them. If I sold it to where it would yield 12%, I would sell it for $24,722.23. You've got to have a financial calculator to run the math. Okay. So if I sold it at a 15% yield, That'd be twenty one nine eighty four. If I sold this note, Chris, if I came to you, I said, "Look, Chris, I know you got some cash, right? I know you got some money. Are you getting eighteen percent anywhere? If not, hey, I got a deal for you. I I'll sell you a note that I just created, the twenty eight thousand dollar note, and then I'll sell you an eighteen percent yield. You cut me a check for nineteen six eighty four eighty seven. And those $354 a month payments coming in is going to yield you 18% return. And guess what? What if the buyer what if the buyer refinances in a year and pay you off? They're paying you off at the $28,000 minus whatever their balance, you know, their balance is not going to be quite $28, but it's going to be close to $28, right? So that's how you sell these notes, right? So Larry, let's hold tight. Just for my people that don't. Scenario. For my, for my roundup homies that don't quite understand the note, you went a little fast regarding those notes. <laughs> what do you mean selling a note? We have no idea where this note could drop out of the sky. All, all it is is I'm selling these properties, rent to own, seller financing, owner financing, owner will carry. So instead of my buyer going to the bank and getting a loan, I'm the bank. Okay? Okay. I'm gotcha. the bank. Gotcha. So instead of selling it for 30000 cash, I sold it for 30000 They gave me two grand. And they're making payments to me, and I hold a mortgage on the property or deed of trust, depending on the state, right? So let's run the numbers. I sold you this note for nineteen six eighty four, minus the five grand I got down. That's fourteen six eighty four plus the two grand that I got down whenever I, uh, uh, yeah. whenever I sold the property. Mm -hmm. I made a net profit of sixteen thousand six hundred eighty four dollars and eighty five eighty seven cent on a rundown. $5,000 house, 
right? A rundown five thousand dollars. That if I bought it from the bank, they made they made twelve dollars and ten cent, right? Remember that? Yeah. On that particular example. So the problems with traditional investing, money, risk, fear, competition, delays in closing, deals falling apart, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Which would you rather do? Wholesaling or filthy riches? With rentals or filthy riches? With rentals, if you rent it out for five hundred a month. Out of that comes property management, vacancy, taxes, insurance, repairs, everything. You're down to 3,900 cash flow. With filthy riches, you start out at only 354.69 a month, and there is no vacancy, no property management, no taxes, no insurance, no repairs. And and even if you pay a loan servicer $25 a month, that's only $300 a year, right? You still make them more money than if you held it as a rental. You're still making a higher return. That's work. Plus. Plus, you got to deal with tenants, trash, termites, and toilets, and taxes, insurance, repairs, and maintenance, right? So why I like this so much, guys, I control the property, the buyer, the financing, and the closing. There's no part of a deal I'm not in control of, right? And there's no competition. See, everybody else is chasing the big deals, okay? Making money the filthy riches way is not risky, just being uneducated. That's what's risky, right? Time to start having fun and making some money. So let's go through seven steps, okay? We're going to go through seven steps here today. Is everybody still with me, Chris? Yeah, we got 107 people here. Yep, people still have questions Sweet, coming man. in. man, I love it. I love it. Yeah, baby. That's yep. awesome. Okay, step number one is funding. What if you have no money, right? What if you have no money? Well, actually, funding the deal is your easiest part. That's the easiest part, I guarantee you. I'm, I'm going to spend about two minutes on this section. This is our step one. So you only need 5000 plus or minus to start, or as little as $1,500. i have done it as little as 1500 as high as about 50000 right? Uh, sweet spot is in the teens probably. Anyway, and you only need it one time. Why do you only need it one time? If you bought it for five, you sold it for 30 you sold the note and you got 16000 you could go buy three more deals and pay cash. With the 16 grand, you don't need me anymore. But guess what? I will fund it for you with no interest. Did you hear that? Wow. I will fund your deal for you. And that's, that's exactly why I'm here. Okay. And check this out. Here's the most important part. I don't care about your credit. I don't care about your experience. I don't care about your job. I don't care about your debt ratio. I'm funding the deal. And by the way, what kind of comfort level is that? Knowing that you got somebody on here that's done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these deals looking over your shoulder telling you, man, this is a moneymaker right here. This is a moneymaker. We made some money on this. Yeah, I'm going to put my money up on this deal, right? That's exactly why I'm here, all right? Step number two is to locate. <clears throat> Was funding easy enough, by the way? <laughs> all right, step number two is to locate. It's really important to properly not be a total rehab. These are houses of what not to look for right here, okay? They're blower uppers. These are blower uppers, not fixer uppers. Here's samples of what to look for. Now, notice they're not the Taj Mahal, but remember, guys, everybody's got to live somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody has to live somewhere. Uh, if you go to Zillow and do a search of five to $50,000 properties right here, do a search of five to $50,000, you're going to see, like, there's 32,000 of these houses right there. Right? Gosh, look at that. I had never even that crazy? That. You can even buy these deals on eBay. This is a house I bought on eBay up in Cleveland. <clears throat> uh, I paid 2550 bucks for this house. On eBay, you go to realestate.ebay.com. Write that down, guys. Realestate.ebay.com. Okay? Uh, here's one I bought off an of auction. Now, look at this. This one's in Memphis, Tennessee. Look at the high bid, bottom left, $5,500. Google this house. You see this is the picture of this house. Google this house. Look, that is, I paid $5,500 for this house. Can you believe that? Hmm. What that city crazy? was that one in? Do you remember? Yeah, it's in Memphis, Tennessee. Whoops. Crazy. Whoops. There it is. 4171 Cliffdale in Memphis. See Look it? Yeah, Look at that. Man, I'll give you the addresses. Here's one in, uh, here's one in Gadsden, Alabama. It's also uh, an auction. 
Look at the bottom left. I paid $6,000 for this house. $6,000 for this house. Good Lord. Can you believe that? Here's a little single wide in a park that I bought for 1500 bucks. The lady was living in it. The lady was living in it. Automatic like, what, do you, what do you want for this house? She said, I don't know. I'll take 1500 for it. Chris, how are you going to negotiate with that? Fifteen hundred, yeah, I'll give you twelve hundred. Come on, <laughs> yeah. I just gave her what she wanted, right? I don't need to negotiate that. Yeah. Actually, I ended up giving this house to somebody that I know needed a place to stay. I didn't even sell this house; I just gave it to somebody. <clears throat> so here's one that's look at this. Here's one listed on Craigslist for twenty five hundred bucks. See this down here at the bottom? We have a nineteen ninety three sixteen by eighty single wide, three bedroom, two bath. Right now, the home's sitting on. Uh, Hoff, Hoffmeyer Road in Darlington. Home does not have to be moved. Lot rent is $80 a month. They're asking $2,500 for it, right? Here's some off a of HUD. Now look at the middle column right there. There's the list price, $31,200, and there's what I paid for it. Mm -hmm. See my, my commission and everything, my net bid amount and all that? Here's this house. Here's the next one. This one, I paid 20% of list price for this house. It's a double-wide mobile home down near down near the beach. That's North Carolina? That's or it's South Carolina? Carolina. Uh, I believe it's South Carolina. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, Brunswick. Uh, no, it is North Carolina. 7289 Old Oak Road. Crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Finding more deals than you can handle on the internet. Uh, you're never going to run out of property, you guys. I'm going to provide you with every public and hidden source to find more properties than you can handle. You know, I mean, there's bank owned, REOs, vacant houses, realtors, auction, online classified, home sites, hard money lenders, code enforcement, private money lenders, property managers, bulk REO, and even eBay. We've just touched the surface. There's about 67 different ways to find deals. Here's more ways direct mail, banded signs, canvassing. RVM, which is ringless voicemail, SMS, text broadcasting, cold calling, code wholesalers, marketing partners, bird dogs, driving for dollars, Facebook, and more. <clears throat> I got what I call my million dollar Rolodex. It's how you can, I don't care if you live in Dubuque, Iowa, and you want to buy in Birmingham, Alabama, my million dollar Rolodex will give you access to all the websites for everything you need, whether it's newspaper sites, note buying sites, Auction sites, government auction, GIS to find the owners, uh, realtor sites, MLS, foreclosure, private lenders, note servicing companies, neighborhood analysis, uh, property press companies, all this stuff. <clears throat> Step number three is risk-free offers. Risk-free offers. This is, my, this is my Filthy Riches Analyzer right here. And it sits right on your desktop. It analyzes a deal literally in about two seconds flat. I'm going to walk in here and get me a bottle of water. Yeah, right, get some, some water. water. We're moving right now. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll reintroduce you real quick for people that don't know you. Round up. If you're just joining sure. us, we've got 125 people on here. Uh, you, uh, Larry Goins, one of my first mentors from 2007, I believe. I, I can't even tell uh -huh. you about <laughs> All the stuff I learned from him back in the day, and now I get an opportunity to bring him to you just to kind of catch up on what he's been doing and <clears throat> how he's running his business. Hopefully, he can share some information with us that will help us. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Sorry about that. I had to go in the garage and get a drink. You good? Our house is a wreck because I mentioned at the beginning we're moving next week. So yeah. we got everything tore apart. Half of our half of our life is in storage right now, mm -hmm. but man, I got top dollar for the house. I bet you did. That I was, bet you that did. Was the, that was the blessing, man. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, man. Let's get her done. Yep. Let's see here. <clears throat> so, some rules for property analysis. Most new investors are afraid to make offers. Their biggest fear is what if they say yes? Right now, what do I do? Now, what do I do? Right. So <clears throat> remember, guys, it's extremely important that your first deal be a home run. OK, 
Don't get into the, I got to get a deal. I got to get a deal. I got to get a deal syndrome. Don't do that, okay? You got to get a good deal. Remember this, okay? So you always want to make your offer on the first phone call, all right? Remember, the three most important things in real estate. Do you know what they are? What are the three most important things in real estate? Number one, make offers. Number two, make offers. Number three, make offers. You got to make your offer on the first phone call. I'm on the phone all day long, all day long. I love talking to sellers. I'm making offers. I got a deal today. I've got seven deals so far this week accepted, okay? Seven offers accepted so far this week. And it's just, what, Thursday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and my, my, my goal is five a week, okay? That's my goal. A couple of weeks ago, I got 11 in one week, right? Uh, I think it was last week I only got two, right? But I mean, it kind of my goal is five a week. All right, that's my goal every every week is to get five deals a week. Um, so anyway, we got You got to have a proven script and the filthy riches analyzer. Okay, whether you know it or not, you use a script. You need a written script because that lets you fake it till you make it. All right, and you want to use a one call close script. Okay, use a one call close script. You can also submit automated offers through realtors. They submit the first offer and then they just send you the counters, right? It's like having your own army of licensed bird dogs going out there and finding deals for you, right? So step number four is due diligence. Due diligence, all right? Remember, we want to look, look for fixer-uppers, not blower-uppers, all right? We got to get pictures. We got to pull online sold comps, not the Zestimate. Right, not zestimates, but if you want sold comps, you want to find neighborhood analysis. If you're working in small town USA like I do, then you don't have to worry about the neighborhood analysis because when you're in big cities, big cities, the cheaper houses are in the rough areas, right? Where there's more crime. So just be careful with that. But if you go in small town USA, you don't have to worry about that at all, right? I don't even check the neighborhood analysis anymore in small town, but if I'm in a big city, I do. And then you also want to pull rent comps because remember I said payments less than rent. If the rent's here, you want your payment to be here so you can sell this to an investor and then they could rent it out for this, right? Mm -hmm. The higher amount. Now you can do some additional due diligence if you want. You can get a rehab estimate, a home inspection, a comparative market analysis done by an agent, or you can get an appraisal, but check this out. If I'm funding your deal, I will be your additional due diligence, okay? You don't have to worry about that. I'll look over your shoulder, make sure we're both going to make some money. All right, step number five is to sell it fast. This is a part I love right here, right? You want to start marketing it right away. You can sell it to a neighbor. We put out about 25 owner financing signs. I'm going to show you those signs here in just a minute, okay? Craigslist ad, Zillow. Facebook marketplace, and you wouldn't believe how many buyers we pull off of Facebook. Yeah, it's crazy. We, we posted a property the other day, right? We posted a property the other day. It was a, uh, it was a little property for, um, it was a little workshop, right? I'm paying, I think I'm paying, well, this was a little unique deal because I'm paying 12,000, but check this out, Chris, my seller is financing all 12,000 of it, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm in it, no money down, right? I'm in it, no money down, and I'm selling it for 19.9, and I'm getting $8,000 down, right? Or $7,900, $7, I should say, right? Mm -hmm. So so I, I got nothing in it, and I'm getting $7,900 down, right? Sweet. So, and, and, and we posted this property within one day. We had 56 inquiries on this property, 56 in one day. So you can sell it on eBay. You post your ad on eBay, your listing on eBay, and you have them bid on a down payment, not the property, the down payment. There's many, many, many more ways. This is the sign that we use to sell them right here. Now, notice the arrow. It's printed on both sides, okay? Check this out, guys. Here's what you do. You go out and you put about 25 of these signs out everywhere, okay? All around the house, 
the neighborhood intersections in front of CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, convenience stores, gas stations, and you you have the signs pointing in different directions, right? On this intersection, it's pointing this way. This intersection is pointing this way. See, the goal is you get them to call. You never lead them to the house. You get them to call, right? So the phone rings like, I've been driving around for 45 minutes. I can't find this house. Where is this house? You know, <laughs> is that great or what? <laughs> so who are your buyers? Investors are your number one buyers. Most of them won't look like those two in the middle, but investors are your number one buyers. Okay. Do you think there's investors out there that they want or people that want to be investors, but they don't really have the money to invest? See, you're their only hope, right? You are their only hope. What about first time home buyers, right? They can't get a loan on a $50,000 or less house and they've given up on the American. Why do they give up? That's because banks will not make loans under $50,000 unless mm -hmm. it's like a credit union or a small local community bank. Some of them will go below 50,000. Okay. In the real world. But for the most part, lenders don't want to make a loan less than $50,000, right? Mm -hmm. They got to make it up in volume. Realtors have a lot of these buyers with the down payment ready to buy. In fact, it's in our script. It's in our script that says that uh, if when we're calling about a property and talking to a realtor, hey, if you, you have any buyers looking for properties like this, you know they can't qualify for a loan, but they have down payment money. You send them to me, and if I sell them a house, I'll still pay you a commission. That's win, win, win for everybody. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. See, now this is the most important part right here. We're serving a market and a need that nobody else is helping, okay? We're serving a market and a need nobody else is helping. It's called affordable housing. We're providing affordable housing to people that would never have become a homeowner if it weren't for you. And I know there's people right now, Chris, I know you got followers. I know you have people on the podcast that they want to make money, but they want to help people, right? They want to help people. They want to provide value. They want to they want to be a blessing to other people, right? You, you, to get blessings, you want to bless other people as well, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. absolutely, man, absolutely. So by providing affordable house, are you making money? Heck yeah, you're making money. Are you making good money? You're making three-digit returns, right? Triple-digit returns. But you're being a blessing to people because in 10 years, they're going to have that house paid for, free and clear. And if you didn't help them, They'd still be paying rent somewhere, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Let's talk about qualifying to borrow. Um, you can look at credit, debt ratio, down payment, and compensating factors. Man, I, I used to look. I want a 640 credit score. I want their debt ratio at 2836. I want their down payment to be 30% or whatever. And compensating. What is compensating factor? Let's say their credit is horrible, but they got 10 grand to put down. That 10 grand is what I call a compensating factor for their horrible credit, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but all I really care about now is two things. Check this out. Write this down, guys. Do they pay their rent on time? And do they pay their car payment on time if they have a car payment, right? Because mm -hmm. you got to get to work and you got to have a roof over your head, right? If they pay those two things, I don't care if they've been in bankruptcy. I don't care if they got judgments, liens. I don't. It don't make no difference to me if you pay your rent and you pay your car payment. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna keep that house, mm. especially when the payments are less than rent, right? Now, <clears throat> talk about qualifying the borrower. We use a RMLO, residential mortgage loan officer. They do all the work. They underwrite the buyer for you. You don't even have to do that, and you get your buyer to pay that fee, right? We have our buyers pay the RMLO fee. And the ones that I'll recommend to you and send you to, they're going to charge you about 350 bucks. or they're going to charge the buyer about 350 bucks. A big challenge is finding an RMLO in your area. Guess what? I put together the RMLO and servicers directory for seller finance. Yeah, this dude. Everything you need to know, it's everything you need to know to find local residential mortgage loan officers and servicers, right? So step number six is to sell the note. I want you to remember, though, you can sell this note to institutions. They're going to require seizing. In other words, you got to collect about six to 12 months of payments before an institution will buy it. Or you can sell it to private note buyers. 
just like people right here on this call, or you can sell it to me. I'll buy the note, right? But remember, your goal is to keep the note. And finding the note buyers can be a difficult part of the process. That's why I put together the complete note buyers directory. It's a complete listing of the major buyers of notes, mortgages, land contracts, and other receivables. I had a guy reach out to me not so long ago, and he said, Larry, I just did a deal, and, and I was looking for a place to sell the note. He said, I opened up your directory, and I looked through it. The first place I called, bought my note right away. He said, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. A lot of people didn't even know that those uh, entities even exist, you know, to be frank. I know, right? So next step is to duplicate. This is where you bring in other people to help you. Yeah, Filthy Riches does recruit, train, motivate, manage. Um, system works for you even when you don't. You can train employees, teach a spouse or partner, get your teenagers involved. I got my 16-year-old son at the office. He's on the phone talking to sellers every day, all day long. On the phone, 16 years old. And his best friend, uh, Jesse, who is 17, comes in the office now every day, too, during the summer. I mean, they're making money, right? So you can also get a VA, a virtual assistant for virtually nothing. I got two VAs, Donna and Jean. They get people on the phone. They qualify people for me, and they transfer it to me live. I can be up in the mountains at the mountain house. I could be at the office. I could be wherever. Check this out, Chris. I got them on Zoom every day. They're on the computer. I got the computer sitting up. They see the bullpen. They see our office in there. They see everybody, and they're on the computer screen, just like on Zoom, just like we're here right now, and mm -hmm. see each other. They're on Zoom every day, and, and if I want to ask them something, I can walk right up to the computer and ask them. If they have a call they want to transfer, all they got to do is unmute themselves and say, Larry, can you take a call? They chat me the link. They chat me the link. They transfer the call to me. The person on the other end of the phone don't know. They just spoke with somebody in the Philippines, and it was 3 o'clock in the morning over there. They don't yeah. even know, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is yeah. that cool or what? You got them on. Wow. I didn't even thought about keeping them on there all day. Good gracious. That, that, now, that's a good tip right there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It makes them feel like they're a part of the team. Mm -hmm. It makes them feel like they're a part of the team, right? Um, they, uh, but a VA can take calls, make calls, make offers, post ads, answer ads, search for deals, analyze deals, sell properties, sell notes. They can literally do anything and everything that you can do, right? Mm -hmm. This is really, really a win-win business. You're helping people become homeowners. You're helping people become investors. They help you get rich and it's win-win for everybody, man. It can be a ministry. Just like you see this podcast is a ministry for you. This can be a ministry where you're helping people. You're providing affordable housing, and the best part, it's fun. Let me give you a few case studies. Now, here's a property. was already listed for eighteen nine. We paid $6,000 for this property. Uh, you can see it's not the Taj Mahal, but it is. I mean, it, it, it is close to livable. You want it to be livable or close to livable, right? It's in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, look, Bank of America said it's worth 27. Epraisal said it's worth 70. That's a big difference, right? Mm -hmm. But who cares? The only thing they care about are two things, how much down and how much a month. That's all they care about. They don't care about the interest rate. They don't care about the purchase price. They don't care about how long it's going to take them to buy it, how much down and how much a month. That's two main things. If they ever do complain about the interest rate, you know, hey, we charge them 9%. If somebody says 9%, that's kind of high. You can get 3%. I say, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll match any interest rate that you can get an approval letter on. Okay? <laughs> you get me an approval letter, and I'll match that rate for you. Right? Now, why would I tell them that? That's because they can't go get a loan at the bank. Right? That's why they're looking for a, an owner financing deed. Right? So here's what we do. We got banners. We got signs. We put lockbox on the door. We listed this one on eBay. We sold it to an investor. I listed it for 30 grand. The bid for the down payment, I start my bidding at $1 with no reserve, right? Just trust me on this, okay? You're going to actually get more money because they're going to bid against each other and bid it up. I sold this one for $5,101 down. Remember how That's much I paid point. for the house? I paid 6000 for it. I sold it for 30000 I got 5101 down. I had 
I had $899 in the whole house. Let now, closing cost. Yeah, I had closing cost in it, right? Remember I said we're leaving it out just to keep it simple. But mm -hmm. I had $899 in the house. That's a 788% return on my money. Set, hello? 788% return on my money. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? I actually offered this investor buyer a discount to pay it off, and he paid me nineteen five. Now here's another deal. I paid eighty three thirty three for this house. I sold it for thirty thousand. I got sixty two twenty five down. I had twenty one oh eight in this house. This is two hundred nineteen percent return on my money. You can sell this note at a twenty five percent yield and get almost twenty grand. This is probably the ugliest house. Well, I actually can't say that anymore. It's not the ugliest house I ever bought. It's one of the ugliest houses I ever bought, right? So I paid thirty five hundred for this. I sold it for thirty grand. I got fifteen twenty five down. It's one of the least amounts I've ever gotten down. I uh, I had nineteen seventy five in the whole house. That was a two hundred and thirty four percent return on my money. The least amount I'd ever gotten down, and one of the cheapest houses, right? 234%. You could sell this note at a 30% yield and get a little over 14 grand for it. Here's another one. I paid $5,300 for this house. I sold it for 30. Notice it don't make any difference what I buy it for. I'm selling them for 30,000. <laughs> Did you notice that? Yeah. yeah. yeah 30,000 might be 10 times. It might be five times. <laughs> it took me a time to get over there. Uh, it's, oh, it's like hypothetical money. It's like uh, all of its profit. You know, I think that's a, a mindset that some of us have to get over, like, wow, how, how do I get the money? It's over time. Right, right, right. It is. See, it's it's either cash or terms, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if they were paying me cash, I'd sell them the house a lot cheaper, right? Yeah. So anyway, uh fifty three hundred for this one. I sold it thirty, I got thirty two fifty down. Uh, I had 1775 in this house. That's 249% return. I did sell this note at a 20% yield, and I got 19 grand on this. Now, this is probably the most important deal. Look at this house. See the picture scroll? Our place. Look at that. Uh, a big tub, garden tub. Look how big that kitchen is. This is a double wide mobile home on about an acre of land. I paid $21,000 for this. I sold it for $69,900. I got five thousand down. I financed sixty four nine. I had sixteen thousand in this deal. And that's a forty three percent return. Now I know you're thinking, Larry, why is this the most important deal? Right? It's only forty three percent. But I sold this note. It's a nicer house, nicer area, nicer borrower. I sold this note at a fifteen percent yield, and I got forty four thousand dollars on this. Now. How many five thousand dollar houses can you buy with forty four thousand? You can buy eight for only forty grand, and you got money left over, right? You got four thousand dollars left over, and if they bring in three fifty a month, that's twenty eight hundred dollars a month that you just created from selling that one double wide mobile home and selling the note on that. It all started with that one deal. Can you guys see why I'm so excited about this? I want to hear some shout out. Tell me, are you guys getting this? I mean, does this make sense to you? Are you guys as excited about this as I am? I know what you've been thinking. What if they stop paying, right? So how you handle the default depends on the way the deal is structured. If you use a lease option, it's a simple eviction, okay? If they're going to default, they're going to default in the first year, okay, 90% of the time. If they're going to default, it's going to be in the first year. So if you use a lease option, it's a simple eviction. If you sell on a land contract, it's typically easier to get the property back. That's what I recommend doing. You can start with a lease option. If you're in Texas, guys, if you're in Texas, you can't do a lease option longer than six months. So you do a six-month lease, then a six-month lease option. Then you do, uh, then you do a uh, a a mortgage or deed of trust, right? You don't do a land contract in Texas either, okay? So you don't do lease options longer than uh, longer than six months. 
So <clears throat> let's say I bought a property for five grand. I got two down. I have three in it. I collect three fifty four sixty nine a month for twelve months. I'm fifteen hundred dollars ahead. If I have to foreclose on them or if I have to get the property back, I'm already ahead. I got <clears throat> nothing to steal. I got zero in this deal. It's not like I got money tied up in it, right? It's not like I got money tied up in it. Let's take and, it for a minute, Larry. Go ahead, stay here for a minute, because sure. I'm thinking I remember when I used to hear the old geezers, I would I would be concerned about them not paying. And the my old my old guys used to hang out at Maria's. They would begrudgingly say, you know what? We gotta take the house back and sell it again. Larry, <laughs> I've sold houses. <laughs> I've sold houses three times. I've sold the same house three times in a year. Is this indicative of this market? I, I know you got different. No, but let me ask you this. What is your record for what the same house in a year? I know you get no doubt you got better than me. I'm, I'm getting ready to show you one, man. I, I can't believe you even brought this up because I'm getting ready to show you one. I want you okay. to watch this. I want you to watch this. Okay. Right. So, 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 you know, I got proper, some properties I've sold three, three or four times. Look at this. Now, here's one right here. Here's, see, you were, you were, right dead on the right screen right so yeah. so here's a house i bought for fifty five thousand. now you think okay if i got fifty five thousand in this man this is a lot of risk here I, i'm a little nervous about this right but check this out first time i sold it i sold it for 79.9 i got five down second time i sold it i sold it for 89.9 and i got 10 down the third time i sold it now it was through a friend of the number two so I let them have the house. I knew they weren't going to be in there long because they only had 3000 to put down. And I couldn't raise the price again because they knew what the other person paid, right? So I got three down. They were in there about six months. So the fourth time I sold this thing, I raised the price of another 10000 I got $10,000 down, right? So I got a total out of those four buyers. I got twenty eight grand down. And over the five years, I collected $35,000. That's $63,000, right? Mm -hmm. I'm $8,275 ahead, right? Yeah, and you know good. what the best part is? What's the best part? I got nothing in it, so my yield is infinite, right? My yield is so high you can't even calculate it because I got nothing in it. But here's the best part. It generates eight oh eight a month for the next 20 years, and I got nothing in it, right? So the moral of the story is, you actually make more money when you get, notice it's in italic letters, when you get to resell the property, right? When you get to. So here's what can happen from best to worst. If you guys are worried about this, oh, I'm a little nervous. I, I don't know what to, <clears throat> what to do about this. I don't know if I should try this. Check this out. Here's what, here's what can happen from best to worst. The best thing that can happen, and I got to tell you, unless you do a lot of deals, it's never going to happen to you. But the best thing that can happen is you sell them a house and they refinance it and pay you off. That's very, want, very, very fair. I thought okay? that's the worst thing, though. I mean, why would I, I don't even want the money? We want them to pay us off. Well, I mean, you know, from, from looking at it from a nervous Nelly type I got thing, you. Okay, okay. And, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and to look at it from, from, from a, a new student perspective, the best thing that can happen is you pay five grand for it. You yeah. sold it for 30 and you got two down. They owe you 28. Then they go refinance and pay you off the 28. Okay. okay. Right? okay. Different now, the second best thing that, that can happen is they default and you get to resell it again. Right? That's the second best thing that can happen. The third best thing that can happen is they just make their payments. Right? <laughs> Out of anything that can happen, the third best thing that can happen is they just pay you. Right? They just pay their payments. And the worst thing that can happen is you modify the loan, right? You modify the loan. In other words, you modify the loan. Let's say they're behind and, you know, you, you call them up, you know, well, my husband lost his job. We're a little bit behind. We just need some breathing room. Well, how much can you afford? Well, I can afford $100. How long? Three months. I tell you what, I'm going to change your payment to $100 a month for six months, Right. Now, don't ever modify their loan and give them zero payments. They got to make something every month, right? You got to keep them in the habit of paying you every single month, okay? But you can modify the loan. You can add it to the back end if you want to. You can also 
uh, forgive it if you want to. Just say, hey, look, if you make these $100 payments on time and you start paying again, I will forgive the balance that you owe. I won't let the balance accrue, okay? I'll mm -hmm. forgive it. I won't add any more payments to the back end if you pay me as agreed after that, okay? If not, then you add it to the back end. But here, here's, here's the other thing you can do. And I didn't put this on here because not many people do this, but could you get on the house? I mean, if the lady calls you up, my husband ran off, I'm a single mom, I'm staying here with the kids, I'm going to have to move in with mom, or I don't know what I'm going to do. Could you give her the house? I mean, think, think about this, guys. If you're making 238%, 249%, 788%. You could give away every other house you bought the day you bought it and still make triple digit returns, right? You could do that. You know, now I haven't given away as many houses as I should have, but I've given away a few houses over the years. Okay. I've given away a few houses over the years, but I should probably give away a lot more, right? So what about Dodd-Frank? Dodd-Frank is some legislation that was put in place during the Obama administration that says if you're doing seller finance transaction, I call it the Homeownership Prevention Act, right? Uh, it only applies if you're selling to owner-occupied buyers. It's 848 pages. I put together a 16-page report that simplifies the process. It's called Everything You Need to Know About How Dodd-Frank Affects Seller Financing and How to Comply. Basically, it says if you're selling to an owner-occupied buyer, you use an RMLO to process it if you do more than three in a 12-month period, right? And you want to charge market interest rates, which is why we do below 10. No balloon notes. they got to have the ability to pay. Your RMLO is going to do that. If it's adjust, Just don't do adjustable loans because if it's adjustable, it cannot adjust for five years and no more than 2%. So just don't do adjustable loans, right? But remember, the RMLO does all the work, and they underwrite the buyer for you. And uh, you could also service the notes several different ways. You could use a spreadsheet, QuickBooks software, and uh, an outsourced servicing company as well. A servicing company, when I'm selling to a buyer, an owner-occupant, right, I use a servicer, right, because I want them to be in compliance with the law. So they collect the payments, collect the fee late fees, if any, handle collections, provide real-time reporting. I can log in and see the status. Uh, they handle all the tax accountings and send out the 1098s. If you're looking for an RMLO and servicer, it's in the directory. <clears throat> now, guys, this is going to really blow you away right here, okay? Remember the very first deal we talked about. We bought it for 5 We sold it for 30 We sold the note for $16,684. Take that money and buy three houses. Sell all three of those notes, and you're going to cash out 50000 Then you take that money and buy 10 houses, and you cash out $166,000. Then you take that money, you buy 36 houses, you're going to have $12,768 a month coming in for the next 10 years, right? It all started with those few deals. That's $153,000 a year for the next 10 years with no debt. You're not raising private money. You're not getting pre-qualified for hard money. You don't have to do any of that stuff, right? It's all free and clear, right? That's 36 notes with a principal balance of a million eight. Look, you're a millionaire. You're a millionaire, right? You got a million dollars in receivables. Could you do one deal a month? If it takes you, if you do one deal a month, it'll take you 36 months to get there. If you do two deals a month, it'll take you 18 months. If you're extra aggressive and you do three deals a month, you can do it in one year, in one year. And I've had a few students that have done that. Not everybody's going to do that. You got to get up and running and people working a full-time job and all that, right? Mm -hmm. So let me share with you a few advanced strategies before we do some Q&A, okay? Yeah. So here's a few advanced strategies. You could table fund with your note buyer for a no money down deal. Instead of instead of getting me to fund your deal, you can buy it, sell it, and sell the note at the same closing. It's like a back to back to back closing, right? You can trade the note at face value for another property or a down payment on a property. You buy a property for five grand, you sell it for thirty, and you got a twenty eight thousand dollar note. Use that twenty eight thousand dollar note at face value 
to buy another property or a down payment on a property. Mm. You can also sell enough payments just to get your money back. Now you're in the deal with no money down and you'll never run out of money and have long-term passive income. Create a first and a second, sell the first, keep the second. You could sell five years of the note every five years. You get much more than the actual face value of the loan. <clears throat> Use an IRA, 401k, HSA, or ESA account. Remember the, you remember when we first came on and I told you that I was looking for land to, to build on? Yeah. And I found some land I didn't want it to build on, but I negotiated a deal and I bought these 40 acres for $400,000. I did it in my Roth IRA. Mm hmm my Roth, my Roth IRA. <laughs> That's a two hundred eighty thousand dollar profit. Tax, wow. Tax free, not tax, tax free. deferred. Tax free. Now I you am close. doing the deal. I did partner with somebody else on their IRA, so it's two hundred eighty thousand total. One hundred forty for me, one hundred forty for them. Right. You gonna close <laughs> on it? Yeah, yeah, we gonna close on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You don't want to do assignments in your IRA. Okay, so um, create infinite yields with no money out of your pocket. Guys, there's a lot more I need to teach you so you know every way to make money and you don't make any mistakes, okay? You can run your entire business anywhere. There's no special computer skills needed. This is a Jason Munnerlin. Invest in your future. Trust me, folks. I bought course after course and never done anything until last month I ordered Larry's course. I was almost ready to give up. Glad I didn't. Study this course for two days straight, listen to all the audios, and soaked it all in. This is the course that tells you what to do on the first day. He even includes audios of him on the phone live. Yeah, you hear me on the phone doing deals. This is Jim. I bought two houses so far using your methods. I made 15 grand on one and 19 on the other. This is Cindy and Quinn. In the last few years, I've only done three or four deals. This month, I'm closing on 10 properties. Just to give you an idea of how successful this system has made me already. This is Debbie. I've never made an offer about seeing a property. Within three weeks, I had a deal and I sold it just like you said I could. Made it fast and easy. Fourteen nine seventy. Walter Cherry wanted to personally thank you for your program. With using just one of your many techniques, I walked away for forty three thousand dollars. I just closed my first deal. Your course is all inclusive. I was able to analyze the property, make a quick offer that was accepted. Some negotiating. <clears throat> I, I'm I messed up there. So uh, anyway, I'm writing because I bought and sold my first house. This is my first deal. And I must say your system made it simple. Thanks again for sharing this training with the world. Filthy riches, complete step by step turnkey home study system anybody can make money with guaranteed and i'll tell you about the guarantee in a minute you get a step-by-step -step manual you get six full-length audios you also get in addition to six full-length audios you get the complete set of forms you get live calls with realtors live calls with buyers live calls transcription manual video tutorials you get filthy riches property analyzer step-by-step -step action plan now, anybody could get started with the program not anybody not everybody finishes i got a system in place it's my action plan it's not just listen to this read this and watch this it's a step-by-step -step implementation action plan when you get down to the bottom you're actually doing deals right you get the internet search system i talked about earlier it's one investment of 997 okay and it's totally updated for today's market okay you can go right now to this special link. We got some special bonuses for the people that go to this link right here or call this toll-free number. Right, Chris? Yeah, I asked you to do a 4th of July for me, Larry. Obviously, I know you're running crazy, but some some type of bonus is calls with some people that paid a lot of money to hang out with you or something you would mention. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm going to get to that, but I'm going to tell them about everything else first. Then right. I'm going to get to Mac Daddy, okay? All right. And so round up if you don't, tonight. huh? You no, know, we're good. Uh, round up if you're just joining us. This is Larry Goins, and that link is in the video description. I went ahead and put it down there if you want to get rocking and rolling with Larry's course. Um, I, I had no idea with that Zillow. I think just attending the court, the training tonight with that Zillow thing was a beast. But the price range and take you right where you want to go. <laughs> so, I got a special bonus package for the first eight people, okay? 
Number one, we're going to give you a free call to get you started. Uh, going to give you a free call with startup instructions, and we are going to call call you, okay? Uh, you're going to be talking to Dean. Dean is my education consultant in my office, and he's going to get you up and running, give you some startup instructions. You're going to get every possible way to close, every possible way to fund, and buy a property without any of your own money or credit. You're going to get 12 months of unlimited support uh, with our team. You're going to get the uh, report. Everything you need to know about how Dodd-Frank affects seller financing and how to comply, you're going to get the RMLO and servicers directory. You're going to get the complete note buyers directory. And I just created this audio, how to legally bypass Dodd-Frank altogether. You're going to get that. You're going to get free lifetime updates. Anytime we make an update to our training, you get it as well, okay? You're going to get interest-free funding. I simply charge $1,500. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Sound like it might be raining or something. <laughs> it is raining. It's pouring down. I'm gonna I can go still hear high. you though. All right. I'm gonna go. Oh, you can. Can everybody hear me? Can y'all hear, hear me? I'll stay out here. Yeah, I can hear you pretty good. I, I love like sitting outside bit. in the rain. I love sitting outside in the rain. All right, cool. So I simply charge a fifteen hundred dollar underwriting fee. Man, that's it. That's all I charge is a fifteen hundred dollar underwriting fee. Okay, mm -hmm. total value with the bonuses is eighty nine thirty seven. But wait, this is the ultimate Chris Haskins only bonus. Not so long ago, I had some private clients that came to my office. Pay close attention, guys. They came to my office. They spent three days in my office. Okay. Us going our going over our entire model, what we do, how we do it, and, and three days of training in a very small private client group. And guess what? I recorded all three days. And these people paid fifteen thousand dollars to attend. Mm -hmm. On this training only, I'm gonna give you guys the raw unedited video recordings to be able to access that same training that people paid $15,000 for when you take advantage of the filthy riches, right? By going to larrygoins.com forward slash Chris, K-R-I-S-F-R for filthy riches, right? Larrygoins.com forward slash Chris, K-R-I-S-F-R. Or you can call toll free. Dean will answer the phone. Dean's gonna be the guy that's gonna be talking to you, okay? He's going to be working with you. He'll, get, he'll give you startup instructions, be calling you in a couple weeks to check in on you. And you can call toll-free and talk to him, right? You can literally talk to him right now. If you have to leave a message, he'll call you back, okay? 888-212-6567. 888-212-6567. Now, before we do our Q&A, and start putting your questions in the chat if you haven't already so we can cue that up. But let me tell you about my Larry Goins exclusive reverse the risk guarantee in writing. Guys, I don't have a 30-day guarantee. I don't have a 60. I don't have a 90. I have a 12-month, $12,000 guarantee, and I put it in writing. All I'm asking you to do is just give it a try, okay? Just give it a try. In fact, just go through the action plan. You will be successful, okay? If you're not, if you don't do a deal and make at least 12 grand in the next 12 months, send it back and keep all the bonuses for free. <clears throat> it's more than a guarantee. It's a personal promise from me, okay? So one investment of $9.97, it's all digital access. You're going to get automatic access right away you can start going through the training and i designed this training it's not going to take you a whole semester to go through it i want you to spend about six to eight hours so you can get out there and start making some offers okay so Sweet. go to larrygoins.com forward slash chris fr K R I S F R, or call toll free and speak to dean 888-212-6567 and order risk free okay why do some people make it and others don't? You can make money or you can make excuses, but you can't make both. There are no more excuses, guys. I've seen more people do deals with this model, do their first deal with this model than any other model I've ever seen, right? 
In today's market, your only job security is in your ability to make money. Hmm. It's no coincidence you are here today, right? Now, let me tell you this. Uh, I know you guys didn't even know about this, but I did say at the beginning, how would you like to learn all this for free, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the way this works, okay? When you make your deposit, and I even call it a deposit, on the read this first sheet, I put it in writing, I call your 997 a deposit, okay? Because I don't give you one or two, I don't give you two or three or four or five. Watch this. I'm going to give you 10 different ways to get your 997 back. Number one, bird dog a filthy rich's house for me to buy. Number two, or buy a filthy rich's financed house from me. I'll finance it for you. Or buy a filthy rich's note from me. Or sell a filthy rich's note to me. Or become one of my private money lenders. I do. I have some small accounts like ESAs and HSAs. Sometimes we borrow private money. Or number six, buy a wholesale house from me. Or number seven, sell me a wholesale house. Or number eight, let me fund your first Filthy Riches deal for you. Remember, I charge you a $1,500 underwriting fee, <coughs> and that's it. Or refer three Filthy Riches customers that are not on this training, or simply do a deal and send me a testimonial. I don't need any more testimonials. My walls are lined with hundreds <laughs> of testimonials, but it's going to be on your read this first sheet, so you will be grandfathered in, okay? You will be grandfathered in. So go to LarryGoins.com forward slash Chris, K-R-I-S-F-R, or call and speak to Dean, <coughs> toll free, 888-212-6567. So, Chris, do we have any questions? Wow. Any questions? <laughs> You're joking, right? Uh, Roundup, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. So, listen, you don't have to remember all that stuff. If you just go to the link, uh, the link, get Larry, give it to me at the beginning of our training to – Put in the video description. You can go click on it right now. Get rocking and rolling. You can tell both of them were old geezers. We got pictures of CDs and stuff. Larry, I love it. I love it, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Digital access, man. Guys, thank you. It's eight. What is it? It's eight twenty. You got through those slides pretty fast, Larry. Man, I, I'm telling you, that was one of that was some of the fastest. I, I've left out a lot of jokes. Okay, I All left right. out a lot of jokes. But I knew people are short on time. They want yep. to get to dinner. They want to do things with the family, put the kids to bed, whatever. Yep. So I yep. wanted to get through all the content, but I didn't leave any of the meat and potatoes out. Right. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Yes, sir. Let's yes, get some sir. Q and A. So we got Jason Hawkins, one of our newest members. Jason, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, it's an honor to be able to serve you. Round up if you want to join the channel. Uh, uh, <coughs> members' questions will be answered first. Members' question. Davis Ellis, one of your face said he just purchased it. Uh, Larry, Davis, thanks for supporting my friend. Yeah, hey, uh, is it Davis? Davis? David Ellis. David Ellis. Congratulations and welcome to the family, buddy. I didn't want to tell everybody at first, but uh, <clears throat> I'm a firm believer in giving people more than they expect. So uh, when you log in, expect to see a few extra bonuses there we didn't even talk about. Okay, buddy? I appreciate wow. it. I really look forward to working with you and spending some time with you and helping cool. you create your own filthy riches. Cool. Yeah. Roundup, get your questions in. Members, members' questions will be answered first. Members' questions, I got to give you guys just something for the busy professionals and full time entrepreneurs. Uh, let's see. Larry, I just can't tell you how much I've learned from you, dude. I'm just such an honor to be here with you today. Thanks, man. I appreciate you saying that. It's a lot of fun, man. I love doing this. Uh, I love teaching and training. Somebody, we were talking earlier about a system. Tony wants to know what system can she use? She's tired of her phone ringing as well, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of different systems out there, depending on what you, depending on what kind of CRM you use. CRMs like Podio, FreedomSoft, REI Black Book, you know, some of those. So there's different CRMs. I use Podio as a custom system. I use mm -hmm. smartphone, SMRT, phone.io. Uh, I use that, but there's freedom. There's a uh, freedom voice. There's call rail. I recommend call rail. If you don't yeah. have a CRM that, that something ties in with cause call rail probably has the best UI user interface mm -hmm. of any of them out there. It's the easiest, simplest to understand, but it's not going to sync with like automatically with other stuff. You can use like Globy flow and some of these other stuff to, to tie it in. But uh, if you're just looking for some sort of a call system, 
There's call eight, K A L L, the number eight.com. There's a call fire. You know, any of those are about, about the same, but I like call rail. Uh, if it's a standalone system, if you have a CRM like REI black book or freedom soft, they have phone systems built into them. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, Ryan wants to know, how did you know what formula to use Larry when you're buying your house? I mean, what timeline do you look for when you're return of investment? There's two questions there. I guess you got the first one. <laughs> what timeline? No, the first one was what formula? I guess we know with the ARV and Mayo and stuff like that. I mean, it's such a small number. I mean, I'm... Well, see, it's really simple. As long as I could sell this property for three to six times what I paid for it, and I could do relevant. it with a payment less than rent, then the numbers work, right? The numbers work. You can pay more for a property that you're going to do the filthy riches model than you can if you're going to wholesale it, right? Mm -hmm. And and here's the other cool thing too, guys. I didn't even we didn't even have time to get into this, but of the seven to twelve deals I buy a month, about one to three of them, I get one hundred percent seller financing. Okay, mm -hmm. one hundred percent seller financing. And we didn't have any, we didn't even have time to get into this either. But I also buy lots, lots land. I got a I got a uh, five acres locked up today for fifteen thousand dollars, no money down, right? No payments for ninety days. Five acres for fifteen thousand dollars. It's like for five years, two hundred thirty eight dollars a month or two hundred thirty seven dollars a month or something like that. So I could keep it for myself if I wanted to. I could turn around and sell that. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm going to turn around and sell it to somebody for, for $29.9. I'm going to get 15 down, and then my buyer is going to make payments to my seller, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it it's really called it's really called wholesaling a seller finance deal, right? I love it. I wholesaling love it. terms deal. And we didn't even get time to talk about this, but you know, as that's some of the stuff you can do with this type of stuff. There's so many different things you can do. As far as formulas, just to answer his question, you 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 just want to make sure you can set up payments less than rent, right? Mm -hmm. um, and there's there's so many different ways to figure this stuff as well. You don't have to do the whole ARV times 0.7 minus no. repairs. You don't have ain't to no do formula anything. for that. I'm thinking, Ryan. Uh, Ryan, let me ask Larry: Is there a formula for buying this stuff? I mean, is you just be making more money than you, you got more coming in than going out? Here's what you do, okay? Let's say the rent comps are six to eight hundred dollars. You take a six hundred dollar payment, you throw that into your financial calculator, which comes with the course, by the way. Uh, your your financial calculator, you figure up nine percent interest, and and then say two hundred forty months, and then it'll give you a loan amount. All right, you take that loan amount, right? You take that loan amount. And then figure it at, let's say you sold that note at a 15% yield, that's going to bring you down to about $44,000, right? I, I should, I, I'm, I'm thinking numbers in my head, but I'm not calling them out. Let's say six to 800. Yeah, it's going to be, a, it's going to be about a 60, 64, $65,000 loan, something like that, right? And then you're going to sell it at a 15% yield. So that's going to get you down to about 44,000. So you take that 44,000, you minus what you want to pay for the, or minus what you want to make. Say you want to make $15,000, right? So 44,000 minus $15,000 is what, 31,000? So I can pay $31,000 for this property. And the bonus is the down payment. Whatever you get down, now you're going to make more than, you know, $15,000, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it's all in there. I'll show you different ways to, to, to analyze these deals, but it's really, really simple. You do it while you're on the phone. It's not complicated at all. Uh, Larry, Jan wants to know, I'm getting ready to sell my condo in North Jersey right next to NYC. Based on this, should I sell owner financing? I still owe uh, what's 200. What's the condo worth? Well, said, I, still, I owe 200 and it's selling for 380. Good gosh. Okay. So if you owe 200, and you sold it with owner financing, you would have to sell it on what's called subject to, subject to the existing mortgage. You would have to do a wrap around the existing mortgage. It's a little more complicated, right? And the risk is a little higher, right? So 
personally, uh, what, what was her name again? Her name was Jan Joy. Jan. Jan, I got to tell you, between you and me, the market there is hot. If it's worth 380 take the money and run. Hmm. If you owe, what did she say she owes on it, 280 200 Okay. Okay, so she can put 180 in her pocket, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 180 How many $5,000 houses can you buy with 180000 Yeah, I couldn't even. Right? I can't even tell <laughs> you can buy 20 Okay, so what's 20 times 400 a month? That's $8,000 a month. Jan, you could create an $8,000 a month income by selling that one condo in Jersey and going and buying 20 $5,000 houses. Mm-hmm. Have you bought the course yet? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, did I hear right? Round up, get your questions in here. Get the questions in the chat. Come on, let, let me have some difficult questions. Everybody's actually just trying to trying to suck it all in, man. Sell them all next I hear you. Oh, here we go. Where and hoop? Where where we hoop? Uh, they're selling their house next month. What MLS service would you recommend to list their home on, Larry? Um, well, there there's probably more eyes on Zillow right now than there is Realtor.com. So mm-hmm. you can anybody can list their property on Zillow, right? Yeah. It doesn't have to be a realtor. So I, I would just put it on Zillow. Gotcha. Uh, listen, I just sold my house. I, I mean, this is the back of my house, but I just sold my house and I didn't sell it myself. I listed it with a realtor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Derek wants to know can you explain how your funding works. What are the terms to pay you back, Larry? Uh, the funding is very, very simple. Okay. I charge a $1,500 underwriting fee. I don't care about your job, your credit history, your debt ratio. I don't care about anything other than the property. Okay. And I charge a $1,500 underwriting fee and we're going to buy it, sell it and sell the note very, very quick. Okay. So that's the way it is though. So that way I can get my money back and you can get your money back and then you can go do it again with or without me. Mm -hmm. If you want to use me on the next one, great. If not, you got the money to go do it on your own. Roundup, get your last course. The vid- link is in the video description below if you want to get started right now. Ryan, I know you covered this, Larry. Uh, you want to pay? We covered this. What happens if they do- they-, if they stop paying? You want to? You you already did that one. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the best thing that could happen is they stop paying, right? We went yeah. we went through that. Uh, yeah. The best thing that could happen is that I shouldn't say the best thing that could happen is they refinance and pay you off, which is not going to yeah. happen unless you do a lot of these, right? So the next best thing that can happen is they stop paying and you get to do it again. You get to sell it, sell it again, right? You get another down payment. It decreases the amount you have in the property, increases your yield. You know, and I used the example before of a property I sold four times, right? And, and I have nothing in it now and it still generates 808 a month for the next 20 years, right? So yeah, I mean, the default, that... <clears throat> Everybody worries about, oh, what if they stop paying? Man, that's a good thing. That's the it's least not like, of my worries. It's not like a tenant. It's not like a tenant because people that, oh, my tenant's not paying. Oh, well, you got to evict them and then get another tenant and hope they pay. No, mm-hmm. if you get if you get the house back with filthy riches deal, you know you're getting another payday coming up yeah, of $3,000, 5000 $10,000 down, right? Mm-hmm. It's another payday. It's like a meter drop in a cab, right? Cab drivers make their money on meter drop, not on the mileage, right? Uh, Denise wants to know, Larry, are these home prices current for today's rates, being that everybody knows the market's crazy? Oh, and and Denise, I don't know if you were on earlier, but I've got a ton of deals in my pipeline. I got about 40, 40 or 44 deals in my pipeline. I got properties anywhere from 1,500 uh, 3,000, 5,000, 15,000. Now I just use 5,000 as an example. I've done this with properties as low as 1,500 and as high as, as 50,000, 55,000 actually, right? But it doesn't have to be a $5,000 house. It could be 10, 20, 30, 40,000, whatever. The sweet spot is below 25. That's where you're going to get the triple digit yields. Okay. 
is below 25,000. So the short answer is absolutely yes. These are good deals in today's market. You can get these deals. Now, you're not going to find all these deals on the MLS. You're not mm -hmm. going to find them all on HUD or VA or, or whatever. You know, you might have to go out and drive for dollars. You might have to go out and, you know, put out some bandit signs, do some cold calling or direct mail or something like that. You know, um, because there's not as many deals on the MLS right now. Real estate is cyclical. It goes up and down, right? We're in a seller's market right now. Right, you're not gonna you're not gonna find a nice house that you could that that's that's listed for you know thirty thousand dollars and you make an offer of five grand and get it. It's listed on the MLS. You're not gonna find that right now, but you will find it by going after off market properties right now. Gotcha. Off market properties, right? So the short answer is absolutely there are deals like that, but you just got you got you got a prospect for them prospect or market for them instead of sitting back and looking on the uh on the computer you know at hud and mls and all that good stuff right yeah, times have changed right times have changed that's exactly right that's it well it's just the market's change market's change yeah and it's gonna come around again i gotta tell you if you guys learn how to do this you guys learn how to do this i gotta tell you man you know come the fall next year you're going to be sitting in a prime position to be able to take advantage when the market turns. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what month, but I know trees don't grow to the sky. What goes up comes down, right? I wanted to ask you that, Larry. You've been around twice as long as me. I'm just like, when does this thing, I mean, we, you know, it just seems like it just keeps going up and up and up. You know, I got a friend that sold his house. He sold his 6,000 square foot house three years ago, thinking we were at the top of the market. And then living in a 1,200 square foot house since then, just waiting on the market to turn, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I just sold mine. Now, mine's not a 6,000 square foot house, but I just sold my house. Thinking, now, this is my neighbor. This is my neighbor over here. I, I turned my realtor on to my neighbor. This neighbor right here, if you can see their house, this is the side yeah. of their house, actually. Mm -hmm. Right? They got outdoor pools, screen and porch, all that. Right? They're on the water also. Mm -hmm. And they listed their house for one point, one point, uh, one point one seven five. Mm -hmm. And they sold it in seven hours. Yeah. Seven yeah. hours. And then, and then, now we were getting our house ready. I put about 30 grand in mine, just make it look nice, landscaping and all that. But then my neighbor next door over here, he's like, hey, I think I want to talk to this realtor. They sold her house before it even went on the market. They showed it to somebody and didn't even list it, right? So then I listed mine. Now, mine took about 30 days to sell because I, I was a little aggressive on my pricing, you know, meaning I, I wasn't going to just take 1.175, right? Uh, my house is a little bigger than theirs, but I wanted to hold out. For more money if i was going to sell it so it took about 30 days but a buyer in florida bought it and uh we're closing next week we're we're moving out on the sixth fifth or sixth and we're closing on the ninth denise says she has the fifteen thousand dollar bonus recordings that is some great info awesome awesome that's great that's great no i'm glad you like it i'm glad you like it. i try to provide really good content i really do I never forget. I remember you said you got to give people more than what they pay for. Yeah. What is your opinion of buying HUD homes and can you find these properties? Uh, right now is not the time to focus on HUD houses. Can you buy HUD houses? Yes. Can you find HUD houses? Yes. Can you buy them at 20% of the list price right now? No. Are you going to make a living off of nothing but HUD? No. Right? So, the market will turn and there will be a time to buy HUD houses. I know I've seen the looming shadow inventory of FHA loans. So I know, man, it's coming. It's coming. It's probably going to be here fall next year, the end of 2021, 2022. Uh, that's my guess. I don't have a crystal ball. But that would be my guess. But learn, learn the techniques, learn what to do so you'll be ready and you'll be in a position
to be able to take advantage of it when the time comes, right? Because I have bought HUD houses for 20% of what they were asking. Yeah, I remember we bought a bunch of them in uh, 2010. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Norman, uh, uh, Larry, where are you? I'm in Lexington, South Carolina. I, I see a lot, a lot of these properties here in Backwoods, countryside, rural Lexington County. Oh, man, yeah. I, I buy stuff all over. Uh, I, I know exactly where Lexington is, down below Columbia. And, um, yeah, so I am in upstate. Not upstate. Upstate is, is Greenville, Spartanburg. But I'm in. Um, I'm just across the state line from Charlotte. I'm in Lake Wiley, Rock Hill area, straight up 77. Uh, so that's where I am. And I buy in about seven to eight counties out. You know, I buy in. I buy in. Uh, in South Carolina counties, I buy in York, Lancaster, Kershaw counties, Cherokee County. In North Carolina, I buy in Lincoln, Catawba, Caldwell, Alexander. Cleveland, Rutherford, and Burke counties is where I focus my marketing on mm -hmm. in those counties. Yeah. Uh, Larry, Derek wants to know do you provide private lenders or funding after the first deal? I guess you could use it as long as you want, as long as you pay for it. Well, not, o not only that, but yeah, I mean, I give you a directory for all that. Yeah, I got a directory for that too. And you get that as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, Lexi wants to know how long is that deal going to last regarding getting the fifteen thousand dollar bonus, Larry? What time is it? Well, I know we got the fourth on Monday, so it's four, it's eight forty right now. All right. So um, my first question would be, um, my first question would be, uh, how long does it need to last, and what's the reason that you don't want to take advantage of it right now, right? Um, I mean, but I understand. I mean, different people are in different situations, and I get that. So, man, what, whatever. Uh, I know you were talking a little bit about that. You wanted to do a Fourth of July pop special or whatever. You can let them know how long it'll be available. Yeah. Okay. So we'll talk to Larry. I'm hoping they'll get it for Sunday night. It's for the Fourth is on the Sunday. So I was Sunday. You want to do it till Sunday at midnight? Yeah, through the weekend would be good with me. All right. Good. Good. And if you're having some challenges or something, reach out. Just call them. And talk yeah. to Dean and tell Dean, you know, hey, what what could and make sure you tell him you were on Chris Chris webinar, okay, mm -hmm. on Thursday night, right? Make sure you tell him if you call him like in a week or something, right? Make mm -hmm. sure you tell him you were on Chris Haskin webinar to make sure he knows because he knows everybody who takes advantage of this, they get the private client access fifteen thousand dollar raw unedited recordings, okay. Sweet in addition to the filthy riches and the bonuses, right? Thanks, uh, Garage Kev, how do you market for sellers? I'm presuming people that, yeah, sellers. Yeah, you can do direct mail, postcards, bandit signs, SMS, uh, you know, text broadcasting, RVM, ringless voicemail, cold calling. You can do newspaper ads. Uh, there's so many different things you can do, driving for dollars. Uh, we got about 67 different ways that you can do that. You don't use all 67, but you probably need to keep about three to five going. Um, I don't personally here, – here's the way I look at it. Guys, this is very important. I'm glad, I'm glad you mentioned that because I wanted to bring this up. You, you either have time or money, okay? If you have more time than you have money, then cold call. Or drive for dollars, right? If you have more money than you have time, do direct mail and make the phone ring. Right. So, you know, something like that. I mean, those are just examples. Right. So I, I, I don't like having to prospect. I, I love being able to answer the phone. I don't answer the phone, but I love it when we're able to answer the phone and say, hey, this is neighborhood housing. How may I help you? Coming right? in. Yeah. Their calls coming in, you know, oh, I have a property. I want. Oh, great. Well, let me see if I can help you. Right. See, this will be a property we have an interest in acquiring. Big you difference. Know, that sort of thing. Big yeah. difference. Instead of instead of cold calling somebody, you know, hey, are you interested in selling your house? You know, and, and when you're cold calling or doing RBM or SMS, it's either one of three things. Who are you? How'd you get my number? Yes, no, maybe. Right? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Larry, where did you get that? I remember you told me, man, I don't even know what year it was. 
I would rather have w- 10 ways to find one house as opposed to having one way to find 10 houses. Do you remember saying that? Uh, I remember that. I made that up. That It's true, though, isn't it? I've used that. Go ahead. It's true. I'd rather have 10 ways to find one house than one way to have to find 10, right? Frame that up for me. Just give me 30 seconds on there. Where did that, where did that perspective come from? Uh, well, I mean, just think about it. Think about it. If all you're doing is putting out bandit signs, you're limiting yourself. But if you do bandit <laughs> signs, SMS, RVM, you send out a little direct mail, you do a little cold calling or hire a VA in the Philippines to cold call for you, man, you, you could, I mean, you got lead coming in here, 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 here. You got leads coming in everywhere, right? Gotcha. You know, you're just, yeah, yeah. And and listen, leads are the lifeblood of the business. Yeah. Right? Ain't nothing without that. Oscar, how many hours do you need to put in if you're new and you want to do six to 12 deals for the year, Larry? Six to 12 deals for the year? Mm-hmm. Uh, you need to do about five to 10 hours a week. Okay. Good. About five to 10 hours a week if you're doing it by yourself. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, question to uh, Keith. Uh, I know you want to talk about Dodd Frank. Uh, man, we got to keep moving. We're, gonna, we're, we're heading up to two hours now. I'm excited. So. Don't worry about Dodd Frank. Okay. Dodd Frank, I got the report in there. I show you what to do. You use an RMLO. I'm even going to give you the RMLO. Don't even worry about that. Dodd Frank is not going to slow you down one bit once you know how to how to handle it. I don't, and I don't want to. I don't want anybody to think I say I'm saying once you know how to get around it. It's not anything about getting around it. It's about understanding Compliant. it, complying, yeah. right? Uh, Keith, Keith, Keith wants to know: Does this work in Louisiana, Larry? I don't see any reason why not. I bought houses in Louisiana. Okay. I bought a double lot in Louisiana. It's been a while back now. But yeah, I, yeah, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Roundup, if you want to get started with uh, Larry's uh, Filthy Riches, go ahead and click on the link below, or you can go to larrygoings.com forward slash Chris FR. That's Chris Filthy Riches. Listen, Larry put together this special for us tonight. It's been an honor to hang out with Larry. We're going to keep going with some Q&A real fast. Um, is there a limit, uh, Larry? Keith wants to know: Is there a limited number of deals you can close with with you personally? Uh, no, there's no. I don't have a limit. I mean, listen, guys, you guys know. I mean, I'm going to make a few bucks when you invest in the training. Chris yep. is going to make a few bucks when you invest in the training. It's no yep. secret, okay? It is what it is. I I believe in calling a duck a duck, okay, and being transparent. But let me tell you something: This is going to once you get in and get the training. This is going to open the door for us to do some business together. That's where we're both going to make the big bucks, right? And and as many deals as you want to send me, as much as you want to do together, I'll work with you. You don't really need me, but for, say, your first one, maybe two. But if you want to do 20 together, it just means we're both going to make a lot of money together, right? I, so it's Larry, entirely- I think, go ahead. I think uh, Keith here, Larry, we've been in the game for a while. I just think the money is so overrated. I think we put a more, us humans, we put value on the money when they're printing. It's just paper. There is wow. so much more of it in the system. Dude, there's so much more money. You need to find, not need to, but the deal follow, the money follows the deal. Get the deal. The money will show up. It'll show there up. you go. There you get the deal. The money will show up. That's right. Show up. That's show up. right. Hey, if I don't have the 90 step in front of them on disability, oh, Karen, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. Well, I'm mm. starting to hear that, Keith. A Duke, darn it. I came in super late. I've watched this. Yep, there's a replay you can get right on him, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure you watch the replay. It's some really good stuff. Somebody said, oh, man, I've been spammed. Stupid thing. Oh, wow. Let me close with you. What if I don't have that? Darn it. I want to keep. I like here we go. Larry Nurman says investors talk, including Larry Goins, probably. It's easy to do it again. Don't you have to foreclose through the courts and go through all that whole legal process, cost involved, court proceedings, yada yada yada, Larry. Boom. Uh, you know what? I'm really glad they asked this question, Norman. <laughs> I'm really glad you asked this question. It, it, it's it's been at least it's at least <laughs> seven years since I foreclosed on a property. Seven years. Because let me tell you something. You know, first of all, you can modify the loan, right? You can modify the loan. 
You want right. them to stay. You don't want them. You don't you, want a foreclosure. You can get a deed in lieu of foreclosure. Okay, get a deed in lieu, right? Round up. So, that's just them deeding you the house back. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so there's so many different things you can do. Listen, it's very rare, very, yeah, very, yeah. very rare that I actually foreclose <laughs> on a property. Okay. Also, listen, at, at, up front, I tell people, Norman. Man, if you don't pay, you can't stay. Come on, let's get real. All right. If you don't pay, you can't stay. As long as you pay, you can stay. Okay. So, and I'll try to work with them. I'll do my best to try to work with them. Right. Larry, what's your ratio owner financing to lease option? Owner financing, lease option. What do you do? Is it uh, 50, 50, 60, 40? No, I do. I do, much more, I do much more owner financing than lease option. Gotcha. Much more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The only reason you want to do a lease option is if you're in Texas or if you want to do for like you can't you know, do a lease option in Texas. Yeah. You don't want to do a lease option in Texas, Larry. But no, you do you do a six month lease option. You do oh, actually okay. you do a six month lease, then you do a six month lease option, then you do a mortgage. Yes. Okay. Mortgage. That's so yeah, that's why you do that. That's why you do that. Because you can't do a lease option more than six months and you can't do a land contract. So yeah. do a six month lease, six month lease option, then you do a mortgage. Okay. Okay. Mortgage AK financing. Yeah. All right, gotcha. Uh Latasha, how did you find those fifty acres? How did you locate those sellers in order to send uh in order to send mail outs? Oh, I guess this what is listen huge. Latasha, this is huge. You this is huge. So you know, I do direct mail in real estate, right? <clears throat> to find houses. So I got to thinking. Why can't I do direct mail to find some land to build on? So I put together this letter that's from my wife. It says, my name is Pam. We have a son, Noah. We have a daughter, Linda. We have two grandchildren. We, we're selling our house on the water. We're looking for about, you know, around 50 acres, give or take. And I noticed from public records you have it. We love the area, love the community. You know, we want to build our dream home. We, uh, uh, I love to, my, my wife, this is in the letter that, my, that I have my wife write or that I wrote for my wife. I love to cook and can. I have a garden. My husband loves fruit trees and, and you know, we want to work out in the yard and, you know, be self-sufficient, you know. So, and we also have some relatives that want to build next to us. So I put this letter together and I sent it out and I got tons of calls. I mean, people would call that said, I get letters every week and postcards every week, but this card touched me, right? And and when I found these forty acres, we went out and looked at it. We were gonna we were going to um, buy the property to build on, but it just wasn't the right property for all of us uh, to build on. So I even told the guy, I said, "Look, I'm whether I build on it myself or whether I buy it for an investment, I'm still going to buy it, right? So I don't want you to get the wrong impression." Latasha or anybody else uh, that, you know, I was just deceiving people. I wasn't. I, I told this guy, I said, look, you know, I'm going to go ahead and buy it, whether we end up building on it or if I, or whether I buy it for investment. And he said, I don't really care what you do with it. Right. So we just got it locked up yesterday and we got a buyer for it today at 680. And we bought it for 400. Just stupid. I know, and right. <laughs> And can, does this work in South Florida? I'm presuming that's the Miami area. Good gracious. South, yeah, Miami, Miami. Yes, it will work in Miami, but you're going to go outside of the major metropolitan, yeah. go outside and find houses a little cheaper. But, but Anne-Marie, think about this. It doesn't make any difference where you live. You're buying these over the phone and over the Internet, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. The, if there's not any houses – around you that you can pick up 50, 60, 70, 30, 40, 50,000. Instead of Miami, go to Alabama or Georgia, right? It doesn't really matter. Gotcha. I can imagine dude trying to do this. Yeah, you might wanna, and I'm man. sorry it's so dark out here, guys, but it's really nice outside. <laughs> That's all good. Ryan wants to know, do you own or finance lots as well, Larry? Absolutely. The downside to lots, though, is you can't get as much down payment typically as you can on a house. 
but I owner finance of the seven to 12 deals I do, about one or two per month are lots. Gotcha. Lots or land. Lots or land. Round up links. Uh, head over. Uh, you can keep your screen up, Larry, if you want. I can bring that back in. Uh, Josie, yes. hey, it's my, my friend. Josie, did you say offering hands on help first couple of deals we do, or will we get that in the course material? Yes, you'll be Dean will be calling you every couple of weeks to help hold your hand. Gotcha. Josie, that's my friend. I haven't seen her in a while. Wait a wait a minute, Chris. You have a friend? Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. Oh, do, do NJ Studio homeowners in debt behind on taxes? Could this method method work for that as well? Uh yes, as long as well, a couple of things, okay? Depends on what kind of debt. If it's the debt on the house. You either have to, they have to owe a low enough to where you can pay cash or you have to buy it subject to, right? You can buy it sub two and do a wrap. That's a whole nother seminar, yeah, right? Get into that right now. That. That's why when I'm marketing, I like to market to free and clear properties Yeah. because I make two offers. I make the cash offer and a terms offer on every property that I talk to, gotcha. every seller I talk to. Knuckle Bump wants to know she's in SoCal. I think a couple of box condo would five thousand. What do you suggest for people in that situation, Larry? They're gonna. They, no way they're gonna do that. In, Let me uh, tell you something. Australia. You don't. You don't. It's. It's not like you got to bloom where you're planted here, right? You mm -hmm. can live in California. In fact, some of my most successful students live on the West Coast out there, where you guys have prices that look like phone numbers, right? So, just buy. Buy somewhere in the south, southeast, the eastern side, Midwest, you know, Indiana, Indiana, yeah. Illinois, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tennessee, Arkansas, Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, Ohio, Pennsylvania. All those have great markets. And I have a lot of students on the West Coast <coughs> in Colorado, Nevada. Oregon, Washington, California, that all buy in those areas I just mentioned. So don't worry. It's not, listen, that's not a situation. Okay. That's just where you live. I'm that's just thinking it. Indiana, Larry, would be crazy. I mean, it, it, you know, the market there is so low. It's a, it's a great area. It's a great area. Yeah. Larry, Akitia wants to know is this program for beginners? Um, you know, as somebody that's been teaching for over 20 years, I have learned that when I put together a home study course, I don't know if it's somebody that can barely spell real estate or somebody that's been flipping houses for 30 years. Right. So I designed my course where if you're a beginner, it's going to be very simple and easy to understand. If you're an advanced real estate investor, there's also going to be things in there for you as well that will help you take your existing real estate for the to the next level. But I would say, uh, Keitya, that the vast majority of the people that take advantage of the filthy riches and end up doing deals are people that are doing their very first deal doing this model. Gotcha. I like courses. I like when I get a course, Larry. I like to look at it as if I'm a beginner. In my opinion. That's when you start to overlook stuff when you think you have the I already know itis. For me, I think right, I already right. know something and I say, Oh, I don't want to skip that. But I like I, I like it to be boiled down to the beginner at, at perspective. But you, perspective. Know, but you know what? I, I actually, you know, Keith, listen to this. Okay. I actually had a guy that told me a while back. Now, this has been a few years ago, okay? But the guy told me, he said, Larry, after I got your training, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years, he said. And I got your training, and I thought, oh, yeah, you know. But I came to realize I don't have 20 years' worth of experience. I got about one year's worth of experience repeated 20 times. Wow. I'm like, wow, man, that blew me away. I'm like, man, that's one to write down right there, right? Mm -hmm. Same stuff. Yeah. But I think we as human, I think it's we as human, the same years over, too, Larry. We're not growing, becoming better, do things. Yeah. You always got to be growing, man. Always. 
There is no standing still. You're either moving forward or going backwards. Backwards, yeah. Thank you. Round up uh, one more time. Larry's Filthy Riches Court with the bonus in the video description. Right order to take you right in. Boom. He's easier now, just like I'm an old geezer too. It looks like CDs, but I promise you. Well, let me let Larry no, put that on. It is it's digital. <laughs> it's digital. I promise you, it's login. Now, uh, I used, you know, I some sometimes you have two people that want to plug in a CD or a DVD. I think I, I think I might have a couple of those left at the office. In the rare occasion, somebody says I'm old school, but uh, but it's all digital. Uh, it's all digital. Uh, you have a login. You can log in on your phone, your iPad, your computer, wherever you are. Got you, got you. Round up. The link is in the video description. The bonus expire. The bonus expire will be for Ju uh, July fourth. That's going to be those private consultations and trainings that he did. Fifteen thousand. It's pretty cool, Larry. Thank you for that. Uh, Texas, Lexi Lou, is Texas a recommended state since you can't do the lease option? I think he was talking about that earlier. Hey, Lexi. Guess what? There's more seller finance transactions done in the state of Texas than any other state in the entire United mm -hmm. States. Yeah. So if you're in Texas, don't let that slow you down one bit. Okay. I mean, that blew me away when I heard that as well, especially with all of the, the laws about no lease options over six months, no land contracts. Right. Mm -hmm. So don't even worry about that because there's more seller finance transactions done in the state of Texas than any other state in the entire United States. That's so crazy. I, I hope that answered your question. I don't want my roundupers to be scared of word of financing because, you know, I, I'm, I'm a lease option guy. So a lot of people, you know, it's uh, just a different tool to get them out. Like, see, really? I mean, it's just a different tool. Same That's thing. That's all I'm, it is. And let me tell you something. I, I haven't had just a straight rental. Well, I rent my mom's condo. When my mom passed away, I just rent her condo. But I've always done lease options or seller finance deals. I call them homeowners in training. That's what I call them. That's what a lease option tenant is, is a homeowner in training. If they yep. pass, then you'll sell it to them on, 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 a, on a land contract or on a mortgage, right? I feel like I haven't been able to ask any questions, Larry. Let me, tell me about your rental lease option tenants during the COVID. <clears throat> You know, we didn't have any problem at all. We really did. Lease option, yeah. Lease option. Lease option. Yeah, we really, we really didn't. You know, because they know if they default on the lease, the option is null and void. You know that, right? So, yeah. so they want to keep making their payments. They want to keep yeah. making their payments. No, we don't. I keep. I'll be begging. Larry. What, what is it that? You, can you give my roundup or something to get them over the hump? People that think. They don't. They want. They don't want to let go of that rental. They've got a rental property, and they're just so paranoid and scared, and a little bit are uh, reserved not to do a lease option. Larry, is there anything you can drop on them? Because I'm. I'm just. I've been begging them, trying to push them. I'm like, lease options the way to go. <laughs> it, it really is. If you're going to be a landlord, don't ever do just a straight rental. Okay? Heck no. Never, never I have do a straight rental. Okay. <laughs> always, Did you do that starting out, Larry? Always. Do I? Did you start out doing regular rentals? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> I would love to know those stories. Not tonight, though. See? See? But I learned my lesson. Never, ever. Let, let me tell you. There's two reasons that you always, always, if you're a landlord, you never just do a straight rental. You always do a lease option. And here's two reasons why. Number one, you always get a down payment. Right or it's really option consideration. Option fee. That's non. Uh, yeah, option consideration, but it's non-refundable. Non-refundable, right? Well, there's actually three reasons. It's non-refundable. The number two reason is you can get more per month than you can on a straight rental, right? And the third most important reason is you can rent it to them as is. You don't have to do paint and carpet. You know, they're like, oh, but this house, you know, it needs paint and carpet. You know, well, of course it does, but I'm giving you the opportunity to buy it. You're not just a tenant. You're going to you're gonna own this property someday, aren't you? You know, you, you get to paint it yourself. You get, what color do you like? What color do you want to paint? Right? What kind of floor cover do you want to put down? Oh, right? Man. Paint the picture. Paint the picture. There you go. There you go. 
I always tell them, Larry, I said, listen, you probably can get it done cheaper than me. If I do it, then we got to raise the price and blah, 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 blah. And after you do that, they're like, oh, no, I don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't don't do it. I'm glad you pointed that out because what you do is you say, well, let me ask you a question. How much do you think it would cost you to put, you know, to put carpet in here and paint it? Oh, I could probably do it for 3,500. Well, you know, if I do it, I'm going to, and you know, I've said this before. If I do it, I'm going to have to use a licensed, bonded and insured general contractor right? And they're going to charge me about $10,000. Now, if you'd like, I'll be glad to add $10,000 to the price, <laughs> right? But if you want to do it for $3,500 no. and pick out your own colors, go for it. I'm telling you, man, this stuff, y'all, this is, you got almost 50 years of experience here, man. We, I mean, it's all you're doing is painting a picture for people. That's all you're doing. That's it. That's and it. You're, not, you're not lying and you're not making it up. They probably can't get it done cheap. I'm like, you can, Dude, you can get this stuff done cheaper than me. So, exactly, exactly. Uh, round up. The link is in the video description. I got a few more questions, Larry. It's nine o'clock, man. I don't want to hold you all night, Larry. I... Man, I'm good. If they have quite, how many people we have on here? Still, we had, we had 160. We're down to 105 right now. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. They hung in there with us. That's awesome. Larry, you the awesome. man, dude. I'm just, I'm, I just, I feel like I'm living the dream. I get to hang out with guys. Like it's just amazing to me, dude. Just amazing. That's awesome. Uh, Oscar, I appreciate the advice, Larry. Like you said, you're either moving forward or backward. Reminded me of my life with Jesus. Either making progress, love, or digressing. Good for you, Oscar. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Yeah, good for you, Oscar. Just joined. We it. talked about California already. We are. I don't want to go do that one again. We talked about that one. Gavin, uh, Gavin, you can rewind. He did get into California, though. You know, Oscar, I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought that up about um, about Jesus. Oh, go we ahead. Have, hey, hey, we have a ahead, uh, we have a devotion every morning in our office. Nine o'clock. We have some kind of words of wisdom training or something. Uh, I did a little something. I, I read. I read. Uh, from the book of second opinions. <laughs> that's, that's basically just a journal that I've got a three or four journals that I've collected over the years and written stuff down. And I read from that. And then we do a little devotion and then we got a, we got a whiteboard up. It's called the prayer board and we pray over people every morning. So guys, Jesus is the way to go, right? There's only one way and that's through Jesus. Master teacher, master teacher. Uh, graphic wants to know how can I get a property from you, Larry? Should we rather just buy one from you? Uh, investorsrehab.com. Investorsrehab.com. That's the ad, that's the domain that we sell our properties at, right? Uh, so investorsrehab.com. You can opt in and get on the buyers list. We only have deals in the Carolinas primarily. Now we have deals in other states occasionally, but the vast majority of our deals are in the Carolinas. Mm-hmm. Chris Monroe, what up, big homie? What's going on? What up? What up? Round up. Please hit that, smash that thumbs up for optimization purposes. It's right down below. Just click that so we can help us uh, make sure we get this word out to the people. So uh, I see a question here I want to answer. Where, oh, uh, where is Lexi, it at? Lexi. 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 Okay. Lexi, Lexi Lou. Lou. Yeah. Uh, boot, is boots on the ground sometimes necessary? Absolutely. And in the training, I'll show you how to recruit, train, motivate, and manage them. You do need some boots on the ground to like maybe show houses, put out signs, uh, take pictures of properties, things like that. And i show you how to recruit, train, motivate, and manage them. Wow. Wow. That's deep. Josie, it is a good practice to do your first deal out of state, Larry? Uh, you know, Josie, I, I say if it's conducive to do it close by, do it close by, but if not, don't worry about it and do it. Uh, uh, I don't know where you live, but like if you were in LA, Orange County, California, or whatever, I would say, nah, just just go Arkansas, Tennessee, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Carolina. I think she's in Maryland. Josie was in Maryland, Larry. <clears throat> yeah, well, Maryland's very expensive. Uh, it's very expensive properties. So, I mean, you could buy in like upstate New York. Um, you know, Albany, uh, some of those areas, Corning, Elmira's good markets. Um, but yeah, I mean, for, for the most part, 
you know, if, if it's conducive where you live, great. If not, don't even worry about it. There's not much difference between 300 miles or 3,000 miles. Wow. I never thought about it like that. You still can't get to it either way. <laughs> yeah, who, who cares? Listen, yeah. here's, the, here's the thing. I mean, somebody, and I know somebody's thinking this, even if they don't write it, right? You know, Larry, what if I, what if I go see the house and it's a blower up or what if I buy it, you know, it's got a cracked foundation or something. Let's look, it's a $5,000 house. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. It's a $5,000 house. Who cares? Right. <laughs> Uh, Deanna wants to know. I have no experience, but I'm in Cleveland. I'm ready to get started. Is this right for nice. me? Or could this be right Deanna, for me? Deanna, Cleveland. Yeah, baby. I bought houses in Cleveland. I love Ohio. Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, all good markets. All Sweet. good markets. I love all right, it. let's get – it's 9-10. Larry, final thoughts. Roundup, get to the link below to get the bonuses. you got three days to get them. Uh, it's, uh, this, it has been an honor hanging out with Larry Goins, spitting bars, dropping bars. Larry, final Listen, thoughts on people. Go ahead. Uh, well, first of all, I just want to say to everybody that took action at LarryGoins.com forward slash Chris FR or call toll-free 888-212-6567. Everybody who took action, I just want to say congratulations and welcome to the family. I know you've probably invested in training four, but I got to tell you, I've got a vested interest. I want to buy houses from you. I want to sell houses to you. I want to fund your deals. I want to buy notes from you. I want to sell notes to you. Yeah, I'll be the first one to tell you. Chris and I make a couple bucks when you invest in the training, but that's just to get you up to speed so we can work with you so you're not calling up and saying, Hey, Larry, tell me about this. Is this a good deal? Well, no, if you'd have read the course, you'd know that's not a good deal, right? So now you know that when you got the course, you know what's a deal, what isn't a deal, you know how to analyze it, then you send it to me, and we're going to make some money, right? So just remember, guys, you can make money or you can make excuses, but you can't make both. And I'm really excited to be working with the ones that took took you know action. If you're not in a position to, it's okay. I understand. You'll get there. You'll get there. Just don't give up. And I hope you got some really, really good nuggets, some good information. But more than anything, I hope I inspired you. And um, I hope you will take what I've shared with you and you'll go out and learn from it and use it. And, um, and yeah, that's, that, that, that's what I want to share. And, you know, I, I don't want to get, I, I don't want to offend anybody or anything. But uh, if you don't know Jesus, now's the time because we're not guaranteed tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow, and we don't know what's going to happen to us tonight. And everybody's going to meet their maker, and you need to be ready. If you're, not, if you're not a scholar of the Bible, if you don't read the Bible, just open it up or get out your phone and start in Proverbs. I've learned so much in Proverbs. It's my favorite book of the Bible. Mm -hmm. It was written by the richest man who ever lived, Solomon, Solomon. King Solomon. So uh, if if you if you you're not offending if, nobody, Larry, but you good. Good. All right. Good. 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 So uh, so anyway, I just want to share that. I don't I don't normally do that, but you good. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be more conscious and more. I'm trying to be more. Uh, more conscious and more cognizant of what I do and the influence I have and sharing what's really important. I'm telling you, Larry. Yeah. That's a big that's a big thing. Larry, Larry, if you're not a steward of what you have, you have you, have you had that happen to you? Say that again. How about what? If you're not a good steward with what you have been given, the universe of God likes to take things away to remind Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what? Um, you've got to look at everything that you have as everything. You, of it. you don't own it anyway. It's not ours. We're just being a steward of whatever we've been given, whether it's a house, a car, uh, you know, whatever it is, an audience. It, you know, we are a steward of it and we've got to be we've got to be a good steward of it. Right. right. And we've That's got right. to be a blessing to others, you know, 
as yeah. well. Larry, I got to answer this one. Somebody give me a love offering. Uh, Anna, thank you so much for your love offering. Thank you. Should I obtain a general GC license prior to entering into real estate? Wow. No, you do not need a general contractor's license. Not at, You don't need a real estate license. You don't need a GC license. You don't need a realtor's license, or appraisal license. You don't need any of that, right? Um, not unless you want to get into the business of being a general contractor. You don't need that at all. I think Larry, that's gonna if she see then she's gotta have those insurances and all the policy. I'm like, that's gonna be it's not cheap. Just just having a license costs money. You have to have uh there's there's no reason there's no reason to get a license unless you're gonna use that contractor's license. Yeah. And then that might sidetrack you, Anna. You start doing jobs for other people, and then you're not doing your own job. I mean, yeah. Okay, David, ask a question. David, David Ellis, let's ask that it? question. Okay, what up, David? Okay. Um, David says, do you have to hold insurance on the property until the buyer makes their last payment? Absolutely. What you want to do is your buyer is going to get a homeowner's policy or if it's a rental property for them, a fire policy. And they're going to list you as the mortgage E on that property. So if the house burns down, your mortgage is paid off. So you get paid in full. Okay. Sweet. Very, very, Sweet. very good question, David. We didn't cover that. That's kind of, you know, that's kind of getting down too granular for, uh, like for for ninety minutes. But that's a great question, and I wanted that to address it. Yeah, good question, Larry. It's been an honor, man. Oh, why don't you sell a thirty? Larry wants to know why don't you sell it on a thirty-year mortgage? I didn't even see that one come in. Okay, great, great question. Uh, the longer the term of the mortgage, and this is this has to do with the time value of money. Okay, the longer you stretch out the term, the deeper the discount you have to take when you sell that note when you sell it. Right. Uh, in other words, if I if I bought a house for five thousand dollars and I sold it for thirty thousand, and I got a couple thousand dollars down, but but it was a thirty year note that payment is going to be really, really cheap, right? And it's going to be really low. So even selling that note at a 15% yield, I might only get $7,000 for it, right? Just because the payment's so low and it's going to take so long to get their money back, right? So what you want to do is you want to keep the payment as high as you can and the term as short as you can. So you take the least amount of discount that you have to when you sell that note. Okay. Well, now, even well, if you're going to keep the note, it will also increase your yield. Your yield will be much lower the longer the term you spread out that that loan. Great, great question he had. Good question, Derek. Uh, Deanna wants to know about the terms. A lot of words you were using, Larry. I can't really stop you on every word that you use that I know some people may not comprehend. Some of that language, is it included in the course? That's a good question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything we've been talking about, it's in there. It's in there. Yeah, because some of the stuff's high if level. It's and, not, you know. If it's not, you're going to call Dean. You're going to have a phone number right to his desk, right? You're going to have a phone number right to his desk. So you you call Dean, and he'll answer that question. If he can't answer it, I can see him from my office, and he'll walk in there and ask me, okay, Deanna? Sweet. Who is this? I got somebody amming me. Okay, that's all I got for you. Round up. The link is in the video description. Get signed up if you're interested in getting houses under ten thousand dollars. Doing our finance, seller financing. That's another skill. I mean, if you just learn seller financing, will be worth the price of admission for that. I love it. I love it, man. This is it, it's so much better than being a landlord, right? Very good. <laughs> you have homeowners in training. You have homeowners in training. And you're getting cool. huge yields, right? And you're dealing with a whole nother, it's just a whole nother model that you Mindset. never thought about. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool. I stopped, I stopped doing rentals, I think, I don't know, probably 2014. Like, why am I, why would I rental? I mean, it just didn't make, for me, it didn't make it. <laughs> right, right, right. I got you. Okay, that's all I got for you, Larry. I really appreciate everybody being on. Thank you guys so much for all the great questions, for uh, for hanging on here with us for a couple hours. Wow, almost two and a half hours now. So thank you guys so much for being on with us. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. You got a really great group, man. You really do. I love it.
They're good people, but I would I want to get you on, Larry, and I would I didn't really get to get into some nuts and bolts of what I have always wanted to ask you questions throughout these years. Would you come back on for me in the future so we could just do some? Yeah, just man. Some it, content? Listen, listen, anytime, anytime. You know, Steven says <coughs> Dean's going to be a very busy man. Listen, oh. I don't do very many of these webinars, okay? <laughs> but oh, Dean, yeah, but I'll tell you this: people find me. And Dean is on the phone every day, all day. He's got about five hours of talk time every single what? day, Stephen. Yeah, he's on the phone. And he schedules he schedules all of my students out so we're where he reaches out to them every two weeks. So, guys, I promise you, Stephen, we're not going to leave you hanging, okay? I promise you, we won't leave you hanging. I'm telling you, this is one of the guys I learned from 2007. So, he's, I mean, he said, I always give more value than what people pay for. That stuck with me, Larry. That really did, man. Give awesome, more, give awesome. more value than what they pay for. Praise God, Larry and Chris and James to say hello. I already had the course. Okay, James, cool. Wow. James and Dana said hello. I sure will. I sure will. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Awesome. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. I recognize you yeah. guys. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Larry, I'm gone, man. You guys, round up, subscribe to the channel. Oh, I, I always forget my thing. Make sure you take a second to subscribe. Uh, like this content. If Larry goes, somebody is spamming me. Who is this? What is that? I don't know. Somebody got some bite on me or something. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. So when you, you do a lot of, huh? You you could get rid of that, huh? I've got about I've got rid of ten of them so far, but it's it's. It's popping up. So they have these bots on uh, when you do a lot of content, they find you. Uh -huh. Subscribe, like the content, y'all. Fourth of July special. Don't forget everything on my site's 50% off everything. Just use the code July because I love you. I want to see you succeed. <clears throat> this is the best time to start your financial and find your financial end of y'all. Get cranky today. Like the content. Share with any other investors that you think would benefit from learning this stuff here, this crazy world of owner financing and creating notes and all that stuff. Larry, you're talking some language, man, that uh, is just high level, but I think for me, I, I, I resisted it. Hey, notes, Deanna, Monty Scruggs. Real quick, huh? real quick oh, Deanna, Deanna, you, you are going to get the three day training with my private client students for free. You don't have to pay the 99, right? You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay anything. I don't. I, you know. You're gonna get the. Uh, you're gonna get access to it when Dean calls you. He's gonna give you access to private client access. Okay. Sweet. The student. The students that came to my office paid fifteen thousand dollars for that. Okay. To come to my office and we recorded it. You guys are gonna get it absolutely free. All right. So you don't have to just wait on Dean. When Dean calls you, he'll give you access to it. He already knows. And he's probably already talked to a lot of you guys. If if you want to talk to him, you can call him 888-212-6567, right? Okay, Larry, I'll talk to you stuff over and out. See you on the next video. Peace. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. All right.